Welcome, agents, to Strain 74-YOR of the Zero Point Report, the number one broadcast all about the news surrounding the Secret World IP. Today is Thursday, January 26, 2022, and I am Ocho, right? nope. one of the hosts for this evening. Wait, wait, what? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> my script. You're right. Oh, You're right. The first right. mess up of the year. Uh, Got to get it out is early, the right? the year. That always happens. I'll be writing 2023 on my checks. Who writes a check anymore? <laughs> um, Thursday, January 26, 2023. I am Ocho, one of the hosts for this evening. With me tonight, we have Two Ton Waffle. Howdy, howdy. Hey, hey. And we have the year of the Jimmy the Rabbit. Hey! It's, it's my year. His year. How are you, sir? How 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 are you two guys doing? It's been a while. Yeah, yeah. Which like, is uh, eighty four years. Like a month. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been all. It's basically been almost a month. Yeah. Six. Maybe, uh, has it been almost, more? I want to say more. A month. Actually, yeah. No, a month and four days. Yeah. Yeah, it has. But yeah, we had a uh, um, we had quite quite a bit of uh, family health problems going on and. St- they could not be ignored. So, that was me. That was all me. That was all me. Um, We're going to blame Ocho on this one. Absolutely. Usually, usually it's I'm the one to blame anyway. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, at the end of last year, like, we all took turns being. It was, yeah, it was, it was all of us at the end of last year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, this, this one was, this one was all me. Yeah. Almost, almost every Thursday night I found myself at the hospital. So, uh, you know, staying late, visiting hours, what have you. And, uh, but anyway, <laughs> the, the, the issues are not, I don't want to, I don't want to like, you know, go into what the, the issues actually are. Um, yeah, you don't but yeah, but, uh, suffice it to say is that things are looking relatively up. So that's good. Ocho had a paper cut. Found myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every week. Man, the drugs are really good when you have paper cuts. Put you on all the good stuff, all the morphine, dilated, what have you. Yeah. But, you know, it is what it is. Family comes first. Of yeah, course. of course. Yeah, so. But this Thursday, I do not find myself in that situation. So we get to have a show. Fantastic. Yay! Yay! Not only that, but I'm also in a in a little bit of a better headspace as well because a couple of those weeks were like, oh, just not in not in any 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 good mood area to just be like, yeah, yeah, of course we could have a show, yeah, I can I can laugh and joke. No, I like for almost three weeks there, I was like, I like nothing was funny, nothing is, yeah, it's rough, it's rough, but hey, things are looking up, so. And as long as things are looking up, that's, that's all that matters. Yep. I don't, I don't feel bad about having something fun. Because, <laughs> I don't know, I was starting to feel that way. Like, you know, it was almost like, um, you know, during during the during the health issue and being like, oh, no, but I've got this. I've got this thing to do where we joke around and play games. And it's like, yeah, no, I can't do that. But yeah. But like I said, things are looking up, so I can do this and not necessarily feel that bad about it. So good. Anyway, welcome, hey Vomer, how you doing? Welcome to those who have come or are joining us in chat. Um, we've tried to find all the news we can to bring you. Uh, not much. Still, I mean, even though it was like a month, not much news. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Riot. Riot. Unless you uh, don't worry about your source code getting leaked. Right, because that's what happened to League of Legends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't pay attention to League of Legends. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Let's say who yeah, does. But, um, I mean, I'm sure there are people who do. <laughs> yeah, the uh, it got ransomed where. And Riot didn't want to said no to paying, so they put it on the <laughs> dark web 
all the source code. Wow. Which is funny because originally League of Legends was essentially just a Warcraft 3 map to the first place. <laughs> like, they're like, I call your bluff. And they're like, we call your bluff calling our bluff. <laughs> right. They're like, we don't care if you leak it. Go ahead, leak it. What are you going to do? Uh, yeah, okay. Do it. We'll do that. And they're like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> so is someone else going to basically form an entire other game off of a game that was formed off of another game? Like, well, is that what you're going to do? Tencent has a uh, clone of League of Legends. For the Chinese market. I was saying everything going on with Blizzard and China right now. That's all. <laughs> or not. Yeah, that's been <laughs> super fun. Yeah. As someone that's a, a Overwatch League fan, mm -hmm. that was pretty, uh, it's been pretty devastating uh, <laughs> blow to the whole structure there. Yeah, right. Also, interestingly enough, the company that, the, the company that, uh, there was the skirmish with, right? That was like, now nah, we're not going to renew you. Right. That's a uh, Netties. Yes. Right. Uh, which which Netties was like, no, nah, go fuck yourself. And uh, so now now you can't play Overwatch in China, mm. but Netties owns a franchise Overwatch League team. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I guess so, we're going like, to be moving like, into South Korea. <laughs> What? Huh? Whoopsie. Uh, it was actually the most, to me, the most interesting part about that whole thing was that some drama got leaked on LinkedIn of all places. <laughs> like one of the higher ups was basically <laughs> said something to the effect of like, the whole reason the negotiations broke down and like it wasn't renewed wasn't really about money. Someone was fucking rude to somebody, and they were like, nope. <laughs> you have dishonored Ooh. my family. Yeah, yeah. It seemed like it was, it was like, okay. we can choose who we do business with, and uh, you, you... And I'm not choosing to do business wrong, with you. And you're like... the wrong this, person. Right. This, this affects entire countries, but sure, sure, why not? Yeah, well, yeah, all, all of Activision Blizzard is not allowed in China. Uh, with, like, yeah. one exception... So no Candy Crush. No, there's an exception, actually. Uh, oh, I can't recall what it is off the top of my head. It's prob it probably has to do with... Is it probably has to do with um, some it's, it's licensing agreement license. that are still in... It's through yeah. a different licensing agreement. So oh, okay. everything that was through Netties, Diablo Immortal, that, yeah, well, it's through a different licensing agreement. So I think you're right. But the li license agreement, agreement that was... For like everything else. For everything, for like the majority of everything is the one that fell through. Yeah, and they were there for like twenty years. Yeah, yeah, and someone, someone was just like a dickhead, apparently, and uh, like, nope, get out. I mean, they've been saying that for years. Like, you know, if you think um, like World of Warcraft did go to North America, like you have no idea how well it was doing in China. <laughs> like it is. Yeah. It it was well, off the scale, in China. So. Well, that's like, I mean, so like Overwatch League, their viewership, like they make more money off viewership, in, like in say like maybe US and EU or something that they can mm -hmm. sell more ad revenue in those markets than they can in China. Right. right. But China was like fucking something like 70% of the viewership of the league. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so even if they weren't the ones that were making the most they were necessarily the, the most ad revenue potentially they were mm -hmm. by far the largest actual like eyeballs so when you were like oh the tournament got like you know yeah 20 million, and a half views. million views or something like that yeah 70 percent of that was fucking china yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. it's gonna be interesting to see when a new uh next season comes up here soon i mean they've had all kinds of issues and then oh, yeah. and then in my personal beef was uh philly philly yep. fusion moved to moved to korea and renamed themselves they're not right philly anymore <laughs> right? and i was like what the fuck and then people like online couldn't understand like for whatever reason couldn't understand that like um uh, people might Awful be upset about that garth and mall like you don't do you not understand how pennsylvania people are about uh about our sports teams sports? <laughs> yeah <laughs> like what 
I mean, the Philly Fusion logo was like on the stadium. They're like all the other like Philly teams, you know, football, yeah. baseball, yeah. basketball. They're all there. And the Fusion logo, like fucking like right in real life at the stadium. And the <laughs> Philly team used to do like uh, like scavenger hunts and shit in Philly. Yeah. Now I'm in Pittsburgh, but there's not a Pittsburgh team. So I'm a Philly fan, right? Because it's of, it's of the... It's Pennsylvania. It's of the state. Yeah. Right, you just default up to the next area or wherever basically. wherever you're closest. Yeah, yeah. But like for them to just be like, <laughs> like, and it was literally like the worst announcement you've ever seen. It was like, um, I think it came through Comcast or something like that. Oh, it was like, yeah. <laughs> it was like a like that's a, something you don't want to see. It was like oh. a business like to the shareholders kind of thing, sort of. Really, like, really, you know, no, no tweet. Like, they, the Twitter just like tweeted the link to the thing, which is shit. Like, there was no mm. like actual Twitter announcement, no like video, no. They're like, we we dropped all of our social media team already. So yeah, we're they just, just gonna... dropped the social media team, put a link to the Comcast page that had like a really shitty version of their new logo, like magnified times four. So look how pixelated <laughs> shit. Like, they probably pass it, was it off to some so poor intern. Bad. It was so bad. And, like, yeah, I was like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Like, I know you've been in North Korea now. Or not North Korea, sorry. <laughs> I know you've been in South Korea. You've been in <laughs> yeah, North Korea. <laughs> I mean, that'd be almost Korea more impressive. For, like, right? a couple years because of COVID <laughs> and all that. And, like, maybe it makes more sense to, like, in some level to rebrand. Team around. But, yeah. like, don't. You, you, Do it at you least. You have, like, the most loyal fan base like period oh, and you just straight up dumpstered them you didn't give a shit i mean and you know and and from my perspective it's like okay yeah i, I don't i don't really follow esports but i am a philadelphia fan i grew up outside of philly uh in a group in, in new jersey outside of philadelphia um literally my entire life like i can like from like the grocery store we go to two blocks away it's relatively up, like on a hill. You could see the skyline of Philadelphia from, from the, uh, uh, the parking lot. And you know, driving into Philly is is nothing for us. And um, I've been to many Phillies games. Been to you know, Eagles games, Seventy uh, Sixers games, Flyers games. And uh, yeah, no, we are we are very passionate. <laughs> well, the thing to put is, it too, mildly, like, oh, like what? Why do you care? Like just because they had the 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 city name and i'm like yeah that's all yeah. you need for philly yeah they, they, <laughs> someone in philly doesn't even have to watch esports or overwatch league you're like hey there's a philly team for this video game thing they'd be like yep i'm, I'm supporting that like yeah. there's not a question mm -hmm. you don't we're like you don't, we're like you yeah. you're proud to be from our town great fantastic we're on your side yeah you can have the philadelphia cornholers and everyone we want to join <laughs> up and say hey let's go watch them <laughs> I've, just, I've like, even watched I've even watched um Philadelphia's official uh um like ultimate frisbee team. <laughs> like <laughs> just be, you know, why not? Why not? Like, oh, it's the you know Philadelphia team. official sports teams. Like even our soccer team is very well loved here as well, too. Like across the board. You say you're from Philly, we'll support you. We we will also boo you. I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> you'll True. you'll hear it from us too. Yeah. But but we're, you know, but as much as we boo our own team, we'll boo everyone else a lot more. It's okay. <laughs> so we're we're passionate. We're passionate, but that doesn't mean like you know. Again, what? Um, and I always feel like I bring this to Secret World to wrap this into Secret World as well. It's like as that that Philadelphia sports team mentality. It's like I'm, we're very passionate about this, but that does not mean it's also not above criticism. Like, sure, like I, like we could be the first people that would criticize it because we're as passionate as we are. Um, but then simultaneously, right? But then someone from like outside who's like never really played the game, it's like, oh yeah, the game's crappy. You're like, you shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get somebody comes in and says, oh, it's a dead game. It's like, um, excuse me. Yeah. It's like you you could you could f off right now, buddy. It's like no, that we're we're passionate to that level. It's like 
we're passionate, but we understand. Like, we, we want it to do better. We want it to do better, and we will push it to do better, even if that means booing the heck out of them when they're doing bad. <laughs> we'll throw snowballs at Santa Claus. It's fine. Santa Claus deserved it. <laughs> yeah. So. Actually, that, that story, uh, it was brought up again recently because, of course... Um, Christmas rolled around, so you hear you hear the story from time to time of yeah when uh, when when Santa Claus was pelted with snowballs, and it's it's a great story because basically it was like um, it was like a friend of one of the guys on the team had tickets to the game and he was there at the game and they were like hey uh, whoever we had at Santa Claus couldn't make it could you like get in the Santa costume? And the guy was like, oh yeah, sure. So it was like basically like some guy out of the stands and right. guy, guy rolls in. He's drunk as all hell. Why not? Sure. And so he rolls onto the field and it was like, um, I think what was, what was the, the exact line they said? It was, it was something along the lines of like, like, and you know, and here comes Santa Claus, give him a big Philly welcome. And it was just like rain down booze. And it was because like the team wasn't doing that well. And it was like frustrations on that and, and other frustrations. And and they, they just pelted the hell out of the guy with snowballs. And then the guy came off the field and he was cracking up. He was... That's fine. Uh, I think his oh, uh, in, in town now. There we go. Oh, oh there you okay. go. You're, you're but flat, no, but, but the guy is like, he's considered almost like a beloved celebrity in the city of Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> because we didn't actually hate the guy we didn't even hate what he represented it was just hey here's here could be a target of ire for a couple of seconds for you to basically throw your emotions onto and people just did and he was absolutely beloved for it <laughs> he took one for the team he took one for the team and now he's like yeah and it was i think it, i think it was because did he just did he just pass away I think he might have just passed away, and that's why the story um, was as big as it was, um, or something along that lines. But it's like, yeah, no, he's the guy who is actually Santa Claus, the one that was actually the guy being thrown snowballs at. He's like a local celebrity; people love him, and everyone's like really appreciative of of basically him taking one for the team, and and you know, not not getting all pissy about it. Basically, not be not getting all like. Oh, I hate these fans. Like, no, he was a, he was a fan too. He loved it. He would have thrown snowballs at himself if he could. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a great story. Uh, uh, yeah, Gritty Gritty exists for a reason. Gritty is another funny one too. Because I remember the day the Flyers basically announced Gritty and everyone just kind of went, what? Are you kidding? And like, maybe not even 24 hours later, everyone's like, you know what? No, we love him. He's great. <laughs> He's amazing. We love him. Yep. Like, all at the same time. <laughs> it was one like, what the hell is this? You know what? No, we love him. We're good. We're embracing him. It's awesome. And now, yeah, everyone loves Gritty. Why not? Why not? So, yeah. Yeah, you move, you move, you move out of Philadelphia... Yeah, screw them. Get out of here. <laughs> you, you don't want to be in Philly anymore? Get out. Get out. Get out of here. Yeah, everybody was saying, oh, it's, now we got two LA teams. Now we got two South Korea teams. It's like, so? You don't even yeah. have any European teams except for London. Uh, like, as long as the as long as long internet yeah. connections are okay. Yeah, it's a worldwide sport. Yeah. And South Korea's got some of the best internet in the world, so why not? Most of most of the uh, players are from South Korea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like like I said, I'm, you could totally understand from like a logistic point, but the way they handled it was fucking garbage. Yeah, yeah it, it, sh it should have been handled a lot better. You won't be in Philly anymore. Get out of here. We don't want you. Yeah, it was it was. It was Especially with that crappy boring. logo that they decided to showcase. Yeah, that was it was fucking awful, dude. Why like, would you spend five dollars on Fiverr for this? <laughs> yeah, right. The amount of shit you can't delete in this game is fucking stupid. 
What are you trying oh, to get rid of now? All kinds of shit. It just doesn't want to let me delete it. And I swear I've deleted gadgets before. It won't let me delete this gadget. Really? And it's like, nope. Yeah, I've, I'm positive I've deleted a gadget before. It is yours forever. It's like, nope, it's you like, have nope. to go to a vendor and sell that. And you're like, what? That's why oh, I use that for storage, goddammit. Yeah. We know your That's... tricks. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to use my trick and it won't, like, it doesn't really work because, you know, I well, get to Funcom is uh, closing minutes. off that loophole. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. <laughs> like, Andy, we need to talk. <laughs> Make Stay everything deletable. Places. They're like, no. Because <laughs> then people just delete mission items and we can't have that. We're not fixing that, those problems. But yes, but welcome. We're not just here to talk about Philly sports teams. And you stories. sure? We could change the name well, of the podcast. <laughs> we could. I probably have just as much experience talking about that than I do uh, Secret World as well. But yes, so what news? What news we find? Two, two new, two basic news pieces. One is pretty much over at this point. Well, not over. It's still ongoing. Uh, no, both. Well, both are ongoing. To be fair, one is uh, Jimmy. You are doing a new March of the Gatekeeper run. Tell us about that. Yeah, can you believe like eleven streams into that shit already? Like, holy crap! Yeah, it's it's you started a while ago. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's been pretty cool. Um, the the I've, I've determined that the end the end goal is get after completing the game is going to be a new lava game champion. This is going to be very 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 difficult. Is it even possible? Maybe. I did some. <laughs> I did some like quick testing already. Okay. Like in, in one of the early streams, um, and uh, I was actually able to get a little farther than I thought, and then I reached like a jump, and I'm just like, I, I can't. My jump is like a foot across. <laughs> like, like yes. Yeah. But I was able to get past like one area by like uh, walking on the fence. Which is like what? this. It's like well, okay. literally, it's like that. It's like that. Yeah, it's yeah. very difficult and it's super easy to slide off, but technically possible. So I was able to shimmy on a fence across the gap and get over. <laughs> but like that's not. So then I started checking other areas. It's like it's not possible, like towards for the bus jump. Um. What if you got the power up spawner and got the jump buff from it? That's an interesting idea, Bomber. I hadn't actually considered that one. I, though, I'm actually not sure it spawns the jump uh, in the open world. I could be wrong. I, I think it only spawns the other buffs. Just the the the, the attack buff and the defense buff. Yeah, I've never seen it do the. Um, I don't think it does the jump outside of healing OD. buff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if it don't did, actually want you to jump that high. <laughs> If it did, it still might not help because it's it's vertical. It's I don't think I don't think it would give me the horizontal distance. Like it, I would jump really high, but mm -hmm. I don't think it would move me much like farther across. Um. So it's gonna come down to so I'm stuck in RP walk speed. That's part. That's one one of the parts of the challenges, right? Because like right. the gatekeeper. Especially from TSW, if you remember, like the anniversary, he would he would exit Agartha and just start walking really slow towards the map somewhere, and then spawn the the anniversary golem, you know? Right. So that that was the inspiration. So I'm, I'm basically like role playing as a gatekeeper. So I have the RP walk speed, which is not. So this this is walk speed, okay? This is walk speed. RP walk speed is this. Yeah, it's much slower. Mm -hmm. Right? And then when you jump like this, look at that amazing distance I can cover. Yeah. <laughs> right? Now, if you enter combat, you'll still be in RP walk. It is still different than being in combat in regular walk speed. This is mm -hmm. regular walk with your weapon out, but it's slightly faster than without your weapon out. 
Well, I have a script running when I play so that, like, as soon as I'm out of combat, it auto puts weapons away. So, like, okay, it's more like walk, run, and sprint speed. I wouldn't consider the normal, the slow, like, the regular walk a run, though. It doesn't, like, maybe a jog. And also, the RP walk is, like, not a normal walk. It's like a fucking Terminator walk. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, it's... Oh, I gotta turn on Twitter again. It's... It's straight up, like... No one walks yeah. up. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. No, it's I not really that we run you. so fast. It's... It's that, like, no one walks like this. Who walks like this? I mean, like yeah. This? It's just, yeah, base running speed is, is one Mr. thing. Mr. Rogers or something? Like, no one walks like this. Anyways, the point is, so like, buff, buff Rogers. <laughs> no, um. <laughs> so I need to stack. I need to stack movement speed buffs. <laughs> There's a gadget that gives a slight movement speed buff, but, but followed by a three second like you're really slow buff. Okay. So there, there I so that I have the gadget on him. Uh, you have Supreme Harmony gives you like a 20% movement uh, speed boost. Um, there's one you can trigger with Hammer, although it's not as easy as Supreme Harmony. Okay. And then I've got like three different talismans that will trigger speed buffs. Okay. <laughs> I'm basically going to have to fight. I think that I, my thought process so far is I'll probably go like full tank and aggro one of the um, junk, you know, the the mechanical golem guys in the in the scrapyard. Mm-hmm. I'll aggro one of those guys so I'm in combat and hopefully they attack me and it procs some of the other movement speed buffs. And ideally, can stack enough movement speed buffs to actually get a jump that takes me across any kind of gap at all. <laughs> wow! Th- Don't that's... you get one for? Uh, isn't there? I would say one of the, um, it's like you dodge and then you, you get a movement buff after dodge for a couple seconds. Yeah. Yeah. So funny story. You can't dodge on top of any of the stuff you're standing on. (laughs) Okay. Cause that was my original plan as well. That was, that was another one of the speed buffs I was going to stack. You can't dodge up there. I was going to say like, not even like dodge, like into a, into a wall. No, no, like it just it doesn't so, let you dodge at all. To be clear, there's surf there's surfaces in the game that when you stand on them, you just can't dodge. Okay. Like it's it's it has to do with the surface itself. It's it's not the walls though, Bomber. There there's multiple areas in the game I just don't like where you. there's no walls in the way, there's no there's no like I don't know, like rocks or something. There's nothing in the way. It's a flat surface, but you can't dodge on it. Um, I. It's like you can only dodge when you're at a very particular height above ground. I, no, I think maybe. I think it has to do with the actual surface. Like the surface has been designated like you can't dodge on it or something. Okay. Because at first you would think like, well, maybe it's because you're jumping across like cars and stuff like that, and you just can't dodge on top of the car, but like. I've I've found areas in the game where like it's a smooth flat like concrete floor. Okay. Oh, here's an example. It's an easy one. Um uh what is it called? The something purple in uh, Savage Coast. Uh from 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 Wolf. Yeah. The, the Phoenician one. When you mm-hmm. go to their uh little underground cellar, right? Mhm. Um you can't you can't dodge. You can't dodge, you can't you can't roll dodge, you can't flicker, you can't sword dash, you can't teleport, you can't do anything in that room. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's just super annoying cuz I had to try to avoid the camera while walking super slow with no <laughs> no ability to like shoot my character forward. Um there's a there also uh in Ghost in the Darkness, you there's a you can dodge around in the normal area, but when you go down the shaft 
and you're down there, there's multiple sections where you, you just can't dodge. It's really strange because then there are sections where you can dodge and like nothing physically looks different, but it's like, it's decided that in this, I think it's like when you're close to the boss fight arena, because you can dodge in the boss fight arena. Okay. Like when you get close to that area, now the floor is like flagged to let you dodge, but the other parts aren't like you can't dodge anywhere. It's, it's like non it's non-dodgeable flooring. Yes. It's, it's a, a thing. weird thing to think about, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably just like a flag or something. It has extra yeah, stickiness, totally. so you can't move too well. Um but yeah, there's uh, a lot of instances where you where you kind of the way I kind of think about it now is a little bit like um, a little bit like how you can't have sprints inside, like sprint mounts inside of buildings in the game, mm-hmm. right? Like you're on your like your horse and you walk go into the post office and like whoop, your horse goes away. Mm-hmm. So there's a bunch of instances where you go into like a room. Um, most of those you can't dodge in. I don't think I ever really tried. Okay. Yeah, most people just are running. <laughs> most so people wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> but why yeah. would you need to dodge? Yeah, and and in those I'd... places, probably dodging is like well, well, dodge. What is a uh, in Secret World? Dodge is automatically set up to do what? Double tap. Yeah, or or mm-hmm. a, a real player puts it to shift and turns that shit off. <laughs> yes, I I no, fully can has both. No, I did that in no, yeah, not even because how many times do you actually like no, double tap talking, anyway? I was talking to Waffle. He said real player has both. That's like I said. No. That's what I said no to. You don't have both. You don't have shift to dodge and double tap. Oh yeah, <laughs> that, that, is, that would explain how often you die. But you know, you know, like I switched it not only in Secret World but also in like pretty much every game I I, I played that has a dodge. No, yeah, uh, um. 100%. Make your dodge a single button. It makes makes gaming so much easier on, on multiple levels. Yeah, you can't. It's just... I will say... Um, I, I ran in... I was doing like kind of like a weird survey in our cabal like a couple of years ago. The Rocco, no! And... Uh, it turned out like this isn't this isn't a hundred percent true, but I would say of the people I surveyed, the majority of people that were like especially like high level players that somehow still had double tap to dodge, mm-hmm. the majority of them were left handed. Okay, and that's because like shift and direction doesn't work very well for you when you're left handed, right. uh, which I thought was interesting. There was still some. There was still a right-handed person here or there that I wanted to smack, but the left-handed people I could kind of see. Like I could, I could get. Like you should just find a different operational key, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Bomber, I double tap to dodge. Bomber, I'm not, not surprised. <laughs> but you shouldn't. Uh, okay, all the double tappers are gonna come out. Well, what I what I will say is that uh, (laughs) after after Jimmy was like, "No, you never you you know make it a make it a key." I did that in every single game that I could do that on, and no, it's it's significantly better. The amount of times, and you don't even realize it. You you, significantly. Most people, when they're like, "Oh, I I messed up," and also, okay, here's the other thing: if you're not like a like a progression or competitive type of player it probably doesn't bother you but the amount of times like if you were to add them up that you randomly dodge when you didn't mean to a direction you didn't mean to Mm -hmm. when you have double tap a direction to dodge is fucking astronomical over like thousands of hours and when you're when you're more uh competitive or or progression focused and like tiny tiny things matter like 120 percent. it matters that you turn that shit off and actually only dodge when you want to where you want to mm-hmm. 
But if you're just playing, running around, like it doesn't really matter. But I guarantee you, you're going to end up dead sometimes when you didn't mean to. But there are games where, it, like, you know, okay, Secret World is is one, um, but like uh, in in a game like Guild Wars Two, Guild Wars Two is significantly more about platforming and um, and movement and positioning and this and that. And you dodge all the time. And right, if you didn't have a dedicated dodge button, it would it's just insane. It's insane. You really yeah. could not play the game at, well, the almost reason, at all. The reason it's I still think it's an issue even in this in this game, it's mostly about just not standing in stupid. The amount of times people like accidentally dodge into like fire on the ground or like <laughs> you know what I mean? Or off a ledge <laughs> into the abyss, or you know what I mean? Like there's off a ledge is not as common, but into an AOE all the time. What could what could we run? Rocco says, "Hey, let's go run something." I never learned touch typing. I hunt and peck. Shift key is not automatic for me. I mean, yeah, but what is? I I, I sort of see your point as well, but also like it has nothing to do with touch typing and everything to do with just a modifier key. Like well, it's why, the same on a controller. Why add in an extra key when you can just hit the same key twice. <laughs> no, but like, like what I'm saying is, it's like a controller, right? Like even even on like a controller, there's no like you don't have to learn to type to use a controller, but like it's a similar thing. Like I would hold down, uh, I think it's left trigger is my shift. Like I would hold down, like because I I most of the time actually I think the gatekeeper playthrough I'm playing on a keyboard mouse actually I'm not. Because I'm walking everywhere. I'm using right. Numlock to auto run a lot. But like, yeah. So on this, I hold left trigger, direction. Wait, that's the wrong wrong button. Sorry. Oh no, wait, sorry, it was right trigger. That's why it didn't work. Yeah. I was holding the wrong trigger. I was thinking of Elden Ring. I'm playing a lot of Elden Ring lately too. I mean, but you don't have to make it shift. It's, you can make it any key you want. You yeah, can make so it like I'm a, saying it, on the controller, it, for me, it's right trigger and direction. Yeah. What we're saying is not, not just to make it shift, but make it a dedicated button. So even if you have like a dedicated button like on your uh, mouse, just, if you've like, got like a multi-button mouse or something. A, you could do it with a, with a gaming mouse. I think it has to be a modifier one, though. Right? I don't think it can be like a, just any key. I could be wrong about that. Do not know. Must look at keyboard to use shift key. What are you talking about? It's right next to the. Wait, hold on, Azrael. Do you not use WASD? Trying to see if there's a. Okay, so if you use WASD, the shift is literally like diagonal from the A. Your your pinky's literally sitting on it, like. All the time. Well, sometimes some keyboards are not like they they change the orientation just slightly. But but if, my thing is like it's 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 you should never be should never be looking. It's not about knowing how to touch type. Like I don't know. Like with any with with any anything, you just do enough. You do a few repetitions, and then you just should be able to know where it is. Jimmy, we can do a Story Road New York raid. Watch. Do you, have that, do you have that available? Yeah, we can do that if you want. Okay. Rocco here, who I believe is uh, has come in, into our chat with us. Dodge. I don't know. Maybe. They were like, you want to go run I'm something? Yeah, why not? We can go run something. I have no problem with running something. Yeah, but that's real double tapping the dodge makes you less coordinated, not, not more coordinated. I'm just saying. Like... Well, you also have to look at my keyboard, too. I'm missing some letters. Get a new keyboard. <laughs> what do you want from me? Just get a new keycap. ASD. <laughs> curse my eyes. He doesn't open, doesn't open his gifts. He has keys missing off of his keyboard. How do you have keys Awful. missing off your keyboard? What keys are missing? Awful just some letters. To troll the chat. Just some letters? <laughs> Like, you know, letters you don't usually use that often. I'll just move them around. Who needs who needs K? You know, K is not that important. 
I can, I can move the tea list. You literally can't spell no, but like, do you know something without K? <laughs> do you know if you need a K? Well, actually, you needed to start that fucking sentence. <laughs> no, it's N O. <laughs> yeah. Do you, you know? know? Yeah, N O. You just avoid it completely. Yeah. Well, even if we'll you even if you don't to, uh, emojis, even if you don't, that's fine. All I'm saying is no. I'm agreeing with Jimmy in that if you if you if you can use a dedicated one, you should. I find that at least my performance playing is was significantly increased by it. You you should just because you don't want to randomly die. <laughs> but I un I I am more understanding of the left-handed person because they're they're literally playing with peripherals like not really designed for their situation. Oh, right. Let me die to other reasons instead. Don't worry. All right. This I'll is why. Honest. This is why I said I was a surprise bomber. <laughs> it wasn't ominous. I'm just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> You're dying anyway. All right. That's yeah. <laughs> Oops. Like that. Except that just doesn't kill you in in Secret World. I'm going. Oh, you're right. It won't. It won't fully uh, knock you off the the platform. What? If you dodge roll off the platform, it, you can't actually dodge roll completely off. Yeah, that's yeah, that's unable like to when, dodge. That's like when Shade told me you can't sword dash off the Ankh bridge. Have you seen that clip? It's no. fucking amazing. It's uh, actually it's on my TikTok now. <laughs> It's great. It's it's like five seconds or something. We're in the Ankh 2 versus Klein. Mm-hmm. And uh Shadi's saying like you can't you can't dash off the bridge. And then I do sword dash and fly off the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> like literally like right as he says it, I'm like, okay, boom, <laughs> just off I go. Yeah. You know you can't do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Apparently you can. <laughs> hold That's hold my beer. I can't. <laughs> So yeah, so so you're well into your March of the Gatekeeper run. You're just yeah, you're you're RP walking. You're using photo mode to change yourself. The the photo mode, um, that's what it's called, right? Photo mode. Yeah, photo mode. Mm-hmm. Mod to uh to to change yourself to look like the gatekeeper. And then yeah, simultaneously, now if, you're, if you're in game and you see me, I'll just be in a gold morph suit. Right. But if you're watching the stream, I look ex- like the actual gatekeeper. And then uh, also using a mod to poorly translate everything yes to run yes. it to run it through a translator back back to english through another translator yeah. back to it's, english yeah it's been it's a lot of iterations i mean well it's a lot of iterations of the mod the mod's like on version eight mm-hmm. um let me see which has led to some gems you know, a couple times a couple, of times, a couple times i've watched yeah there's, I, there's been a couple of nice caches are called chicken bags now yeah, that I find hilarious. Or <laughs> everyone's name is uh, something something different. Everyone's name is is translated in the same way. Like er, like literally everything is mm-hmm. scrambled. Should have been chicken buckets. <laughs> hey, you don't tell the translator how to do its job. It's doing just fine. Um, I'm trying to see where he said. I can't remember what was one of the really good ones last night. You had, you had a couple of good ones last night. Yeah, there's always something that makes me crack up. Um, I like the Drama Apostles. I forget. I think I forget which one that was, but Drama Apostles are pretty good. Um, Is it instead of the dreaming ones. <laughs> also liked how like Exit was chicken with chicken. Although I think that one got changed in one of the later versions of the mod. Uh, uh, I'm also running the mod lets you read the all the faction turn-ins of a mission, which is nice. Yeah. So what? So I get to read the garbled version from each faction. Um, where is? Wow, it's been going on for a while. I mean, I still there's tons of stuff I still need to to look at because, um. Like, for instance, all the abilities, all the descriptions, all the help pages on all the weapons. Like, everything's translated. <laughs> we haven't even gotten to text adventure missions yet. Oh, no. Those are going to be a 
fucking hoot. Just a you hoot. don't even know what you're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, just uh, and it, well, yeah, that's I the thing. Is the some... answers are the same. I can just use a guide. It's just all the text will be uh, weird. All right, I think I just come back. bizarre as all hell. But yeah, it like sometimes it's like slightly close, but then not quite. So you can kind of understand it, and then other things are just far off. Yeah, some of it. What well, also is like it is like a little bit of a challenge as far as remembering all the missions. Because we'll be like, what the fuck tier is this? Because the tier says something just completely not related to what you're supposed to go do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's like, like, wait, what is this mission again? Um, but yeah, very. But it's been yeah, entertaining. There's... It's been entertaining. Yeah, it's so it's as far as I remember, and I'm trying to find this for to be sure. Uh, it's been translated. It's not like I don't think it's a translator. If it is a translator, it's like. Oh, here we go. Characters are a bit of a pain after translation to three random languages, and the translator I used is really really bad. Yeah, so it's not just like it's been translated like, you know, to a language and back. It's been iterated across many languages and then back to English. <laughs> okay? So it's not just like, oh, it's like French and then badly translated to English. No. Right. It's like French to Swedish to Korean to, to Japanese to Italian to, and then all like back to English. And which should explain help explain why some of it's like as garbled as it is um but uh yeah there's there's some i was looking at he sent me a screenshot and one that was like called what it was whitewashing and it said asia superhero point collection Mm. that's that's a great side mission right there he said it's just it's randomness is just off the charts yeah and then i think i remember um he had to make an edit at some point because uh the raid the raid had the r word in it like the sexual assault word <laughs> okay <laughs> like you're like so, yeah no so he like had to like put in some rules um, yeah you're like yeah if it translates to something that is just inappropriate but it was kind of appropriate for the raid like it's like it made sense, but it was like you know I probably shouldn't stream that. <laughs> it was funny, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um. It was funny in that context, at least. But yeah, but yeah, I was like, yeah, probably, probably not safe. Probably for, not for streaming. Yeah. So there's been some some rules got had to be put into the translator. Um. You know, we don't need to be sexually assaulting the lurker. We can just assault the lurker. It's it's fine. Yes, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, but uh, the favorite part, I, I'm not my fa- one of my favorite parts has actually been reading the, the cinematics because I have the dial. Someone thought my game sound wasn't working. I'm like, no, the game sound's working. I just have the audio turned off. Like not yeah, the audio, I, I don't sorry, want the, the real uh, word. I have the voice dialogue turned down to zero, so I, because if I tried to read the the garbled text over them talking, like that would be horrible, right? Like, you know, mm-hmm. like if they're saying like one sentence and I'm trying to say a different sentence over the top of it, like it's not gonna work. Um. But it's been super fun. Like, like the. It's interesting to see what what they say is gonna be translated to. Oh, and the uh, strangers in a strange land is like the first time I failed on one of those quizzes in in years. Cause I like, I didn't know. I'm trying to remember which one that is. Wait. It's the one when you get into Blue Mountain and you talk to Huggin and and Munin. The, the Ravens, okay. Odin's Ravens. Yeah. And then they oh, ask that you one, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. The questions about, like, and the answers are, like, ale, fog, cow, right. shield. 
I was able to understand the question. The questions were garbled, but I was like, okay, I understand this is, you know, this is this one. But then the answers were like details, toe, <laughs> and something else. And I was like, I, I don't know. So I think yeah. it turned out that fog was toe and ale was details or something. Like it was that super, super bizarre. <laughs> But like I, I, I picked the wrong like one. I know which one I'm try. supposed to get. Whether you actually get that one is an entirely different story. So, uh, oh, and I think I think the cow. What? Uh, what was the cow? I forget what the answer was, but I know the question didn't say cow. The question said dog. <laughs> Close enough. But the answer also wasn't cow either. But I was able Cow, to like track that one. I could dog. I could like figure it out. Yeah. But they're the both other, animals. Yeah, the other ones didn't didn't make any sense at all. Um and then uh was it last night? Or no, the night before? The last night? I genuinely don't remember. It was a day uh, that ends in Y? Whatever the last stream I did was, it was. <laughs> you did. You did last night's stream. Yeah. Last night. Last night we did the dreaming prison. Yes. And which that was, was cool. super cool. Yeah. Also, finding out that your apartments are inside the main your, guy engine. Your apartments are inside. My inside mind. the dreaming prison. <laughs> like, so we're, I'm like, oh, we have photo mode. I can go run around in here and see what this looks like. Super mm -hmm. cool. And then that the the main big one, the one in the that you fit like fix or break in the third iteration, like the the huge guy engine in the center. Mm -hmm. I like no clip down through it, and inside of that guy engine is like four versions of your apartment. <laughs> yes. And and I was just like, wait, 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 what? What the fuck? Not just three for the three fractions. Four. There's a fourth one in there. I think that's the one that's clean. I think all the other ones are broken from when you like explode with your powers. I think the clean. There's like a so the, each faction one is the one that's uh, all destroyed. It's the one that's all and messed fourth, up. Right. Right. Yeah. The yeah. fourth is the clean one. And it makes sense. So if we, we if all they're... we all share the same apartment for one, and then it splits off into three different apartments. <laughs> So, so like, it, like I get it because the other part of that sequence is in that dreaming uh, instance. Mm -hmm. So it's just convenient to put them in the same zone, but the the fact that they put them in the Gaia engine is too meta for me. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's way it's like given the dreaming. And John always messing with you with Nightmare Dream Palace, whether like you're dreaming right now, and then like your your apartment is the main engine, like it's just too it's too much, man. <clears throat> too Maybe much. the lighting was just really good in there, and they were like, why why not there like, for like well, like they put it's like they put the other guy a. Uh, not the other. Yeah, they put the other cubes, the ones that you have to fix, they put those stacked above the entrance. Like, just in some rock. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, that doesn't make it doesn't make any sense. They're just, they're literally up above you in, in the rock space that you can't, you can't see them. It's like, why not put them there? No, 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 no. They, they go inside the guy engine. <laughs> I mean, it is a big square. I guess it has room for it. You know? But there's mm -hmm. no reason it couldn't have been just a big stone square, like, you know, underneath, the, you know, elsewhere, or in the rock above with the other one either. Like, or there's even no in, rules you for know, that shit. its own map. Put it in, you know, I. Well, I think yeah, it's I in the thing. It's in that map because it's all part of the intro. So you don't want to load a new map if you don't have to. Right? That's fair. Yeah. So, I mean, that part makes sense. But as far as, like, where it's located, I just feel like, I feel like that wasn't. 
I don't think they ever meant for anyone to see it, obviously, right? Obviously, right. But yeah. I'm saying from the developer perspective, I can't see them not having fun with that. Like, ha ha, we're going to put the apartments in the Gaia engine, you know, elbow the guy next to you kind of thing, right? Like, there's no now, way. You're, you're obviously bees. You you live inside the Gaia engine. <laughs> we're all made of stars. Yeah, like, I'm just saying, like, I'm not saying it's ever, it's, it's like, I'm not saying it's part of canonical lore or anything. I'm no, just saying yeah. there's no way that wasn't like an inside joke or something when they were making the game. Like, ha, this is funny to us. And no one will ever see it. But we fucking found it. <laughs> God damn but it. we did. We did see it. Take that. Joel Bylos. Um, you thought you were being sneaky. So yeah, as, as, it's, it's fun. super cool. Yeah. It makes you I'm trying to remember like there's got there's got to be other instances right that are um first playthrough only i'm sure i know there's some other ones there's other stuff you do that you only do once like it's only tokyo where it just starts being repeatable or technically dennis but yeah um Although and I guess it's like, some... yeah, if you switch from one place to another and you don't go through a uh, loading screen, then it has to be in the same map. Yeah. No, no, but what I'm saying is like, so the Dreaming Prison, right? You only get to visit that like three times and, and it's never mm -hmm. replayable, right? So the like the only time I can look at it in photo mode is when a character reaches that point of the story. So I'm trying to think of like what other things in the game are exclusive to your first playthrough. And are never revisitable again. So I need to make sure I go into photo mode and check those out. You know what I mean? I'm trying to think, like, like uh, at least only the well, only Vomer would probably know best, really. Um, but my guess is, yeah, like anything having to do with the main story. I but mean, like instances inside the main story. Faction missions, right? You can't repeat faction missions. Uh, faction missions. Um. There's a couple in Egypt. There's some unrepeatable stuff there. I'm not not that any of it's like necessarily super crazy. Like there's the the butcher's place that you go to that is you never you like is um never replayable. But also right. there's not a lot going on in there, so I don't know if that's But you never know you never know what else could be in there. Yeah, I mean it's worth poking around. But that's yeah. that's that's what I'm thinking of is things like that. Like I know that's a little mission that I always forget about. It has fucking lasers in it, and like it's all, it's because you only ever run it once for a character. So I'm sure there's some other ones. Oh, Akhenaten should be cool uh, to check yeah, out. Yeah, actually, that just came to my head. Yeah, Akhenaten fight. Like that's inside the Black Pyramid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mara, right? You can't redo Mara. Right. I mean, technically, you redo those fights in Nightmare Demon Palace, but they're they're different. I say there's one one place in in Kingsmith where you fight the um uh, like the filth wolf. Terrible name for it. I forget. I forget what they actually call it. Um, and then you go through like the door. That's part of the story, though. Um, Are you talking about the house? Yeah. In Savage Coast? Yeah. The Black House? No. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's the, when you first enter the zone, you go in there and then you oh, unlock the, the door the right. with the Illuminati stuff. I already yeah. did that. I don't I don't think I photo motored around in there. I should have. I was like, that's that's that a part. place you can only enter once because that's story. That's story yeah. based. Yeah, I skipped I'm I'm past that one already. But anyways, that's my point. I need I need to like remember like, oh right, I have this tool running, I can go do that. <laughs> Yeah. You know? Um, and just being aware that, yeah, <laughs> that you're in a spot that you're like, I, I can't come back to this. Right, right. Because, yeah, you're right. Because, like, uh, you see Beaumont there and, like, the tunnel collapses. Like, I totally could have photo used photo mode and just shot around in there and just saw what was on the other side. Mm hmm And I just want to say there's also, like, yeah, like, there's an Illuminati library around their mission. Anyway. Uh, yeah, it's been it's been super fun. It's been super nice. fun. 
it's been a really bizarre uh the translation stuff is a hoot um Bomber says the funky sense. the funky dragon intro version of soul yeah i don't know what you mean by that don't... like is soul soul somehow different than soul normally is I think it's just got butterflies. I don't remember anything else being different. Again, that's like the very beginning. I already did, <laughs> I did that a long time ago now. Uh, though that would be fairly easy to just make a new character and just make a new check character it out. Redo. That's like yeah, pretty pretty early in the in the in the game. Hana, Hannah, who? <laughs> what? Hannah Barbera. The lady in the hotel. Is that her name? Yeah. Sh- sure. I don't remember her name. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's her name. Okay. I have not. I'm haven't done a dragon intro in quite a while. I just did one like a few weeks ago. I still don't. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> you still don't remember. It was not important. Okay. Okay. I did find out you can... Um, yeah, well, I remember Akuma, but I didn't remember his name. I had to go... I, when I found the... When I found the photo mode, like, gooey skin for the raid, I went and found... Like, I found his name. But I didn't remember his name. I just remember, like, Demon Hand Yakuza guy. <laughs> in, in the loincloth. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't, I didn't know his name was Akuma. Or at least I didn't remember it. Be like, that's Fred. Like, oh, oh yeah, we know Fred. Yeah, the guy in the underwear with the demon hand with all the tattoos. Oh, way that's... Back. Yeah. He's part incubus based on his hand. I don't. I didn't get that he was part incubus. More, maybe more like he grafted. Like it. Like the rest of him seemed pretty, pretty normal. Uh, it's fair. I I I got I got more like the impression it was like um you know when you're shopping on the on the black market, the Phoenician market, you're like, "Oh, we got this you know uh incubus hand. You know, it's kind of like buying a gun, you know. Just got to saw off your arm here and attach incubus. Just got to just got to just got yeah, just got to put it on there. Yeah. It's 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 like putting a stock on a on a gun, you know. Just, like they did it in Elder Ring. The guy fucking put a dragon head on his hand. Boom. It's got a dragon flamethrower hand now. Like you know. I I would, anyways would I I didn't get from looking at him uh, that that he was like part incubus more that he had just. Uh, I was gonna say, is, is there any actual part of the lore that that says that, or how, how do we know that, so. or, or is it just? It's just it's just what's visually available. I'm pretty sure there's not. I'm pretty sure there's not any lore like specific to him. There was a small bio in the old TSW website. Really? Oh, okay. It's not. It's not in game. I'm pretty sure. No. I think I would know that. But I would. I could see that being a thing. I'm just saying he doesn't, to me, he doesn't look like he's, like, say, a hybrid, right? Like, like oh, my mom was an incubus, and my dad's, or, you know, my dad was an incubus, and my mom was a regular person. Like, that's not what but, he yeah. appears to be. But I could see that if, right, the, but before Secret World was launched, they were like, hey, here are these characters that you'll probably meet within the first couple of minutes of the game. Yeah, yeah, here's, like, some backstory or something. Here's a, here's a little that bit of backstory about them that makes it more interesting. Yeah, no, I could totally see that. Okay. You can find the bio. I'd be interested in seeing it. Um, what did you say his name was? Aqua? Aquaman. Aquaman. Akma? 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 You're right. That is slow as shit. Like, uh, well, uh, okay. Here you go. I think I found something. Right. Characters. Dragon. SecretWorld.fandom.com wiki slash ACMA. There you go. ACMA is the most oh, says, is that most rare and despised of creatures. Half human, half demon. He's born or blub, doesn't count. 
caught between two worlds, accepted by neither. The orphaned Akma was captured by slavers and sold to a Mongol warlord. At first he was a trophy, a lucky charm for a conquering army. But as he grew into a young man, his powers manifested and his strength became evident. The Khan made him a soldier and eventually a leader of men, feared because of his heritage and demonic left hand, respected for his courage and bravery. He led the Khan's armies to many bloody victories. Akma eventually won his freedom. Uh, tired of war, he left his adopted homeland to wander China and Korea, eking out a living as a journeyman. Yeah, Akma's talents nice. lay in death and violence. Now residing yep. in a soul hotel, he lives to serve his mistress, and she in turn serves the dragon in ways of the heart, spirit, and body. Bummer. I looked at your link. It just took five minutes to fucking come up. And it's the exact same text as the wiki. Like, it's just a copy of it. Or, or they are a copy of the original one. Anyways. Uh, let's just look at both. Um, okay. Okay. So, yeah, I, I will stand corrected. He, he is... He is uh, canonically somehow half with just one left hand. Like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. And I will die on that hill, but it doesn't make any sense. But canonic, ca- canani- canonically, he's he's a... Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. Half, half human, half demon. He's technically yeah. half. Totally. That's not how being half anything works, but whatever. <laughs> well, fully looking human, but demon father, human mother. Well, yeah, but like, but with just the left hand. With just the left hand. <laughs> but just, just the lower left hand. Like, not the whole arm. Doesn't have like, I don't think he has weird eyes. I'm not. I don't remember for sure. Doesn't have like little horns on his head or nothing. Like, no, everything else is normal. Just the mm-hmm. left hand. Like that's this. I swear to God, it's like like people don't understand how mixing things works. <laughs> Because that's not how it works. Yes, it comes from yeah www.thesecretworld.com slash world slash characters slash Akma, which is, I guess, the the Wayback Machine site that you're linking to. Yeah, totally. And right if I click on it, I get a... um, Yeah, it takes forever. I get a virus guard that says, nope, don't go there. (laughs) We strongly (laughs) recommend you do not continue. I I, I pulled it up. It eventually loaded 10 centuries later. And uh, it, it's the same text as it's on it's on the uh, other it's on the other wiki. It's the same bio. Like they just copied the old the original bio. Okay. The old internet is disappearing. What can we say? Uh, Everything it's, it's, on the internet is forever. No, it really isn't. I mean, all the links are disappearing. disappearing. It's just it slow. Is. It just means the server is like, I don't know. People are just looking up too much old shit right now. I guess. Uh, I think I have. You won't be able to see it, but I can make myself look like Akuma, and then I can look at him more closely. <laughs> you won't wait. Uh, Waffle, do you have the photo mode installed? No. No. I uh, ref- com- completely refreshed the computer. Oh. Uh, weeks ago. Okay. But why? Why not? I don't know. I don't. Start I don't believe. It. Don't believe Fresh in start it. Start of Windows. What the fuck? You went went to uh, Linux. Yeah. <laughs> I'm using Red Hat. <laughs> you madman. Actually, I use my lathe <laughs> and create a Hackintosh. Whoa! <laughs> Blue Mountain lo- location preview. What happens if I click on that? That just brings up images to YouTube. Okay. <laughs> now I'm clicking on every, on uh, um, links on that um, Wayback Machine site. <laughs> like, what, else do, what else do we got here? Who else but do we yeah, have I, under character? I use that all the time. Sometimes you can even download shit off there. I was looking for an oh, old yeah. program I used to use. And I was able to find like this program from like 15 years ago and download the zip file off. <laughs> nice. I use, the, I use the Wayback Machine all the time. Here you go, uh, Waffle. Yeah. Got a, a nice screen grab for you. Of Achma. Bach. 
And I'm just saying, like the way that left hand, like it's just the lower, just the lower left hand just sort of like blends in. And then everything else is completely standard Yakuza dude. Like it just never struck me as like an actual um, mix. You know what I mean? But if it says it is, then they say it is. Yeah. And he must be. Oh, yeah. I, I hit the command I use in raid, so right now all of you look like him to me. <laughs> <laughs> There's just like the two of you are just dancing Akma. Fantastic. He's, he's really, like, what other, what other really... characters do they have here in this, uh, not just Akma? In the bio? Various. They have Various, the doctor from... Uh, from the Romanian village, right? From Besiege Farmlands, uh, Daniel Bach, the guy you mean in the hotel overlook. Yeah, the journalists. Yeah, uh, Ronell Washington. Who's that? That's not ringing a bell. Where's that from? Ronell had always Where? wanted to be a performer. Ronell when a problem oh, needs to I know vanish. Who that is. Oh, right. Who that okay, is. she shows up in a couple of cutscenes. She's the one. She she uh, is gonna assassinate you. Yes. And she okay. Gets, she gets pissed off at a uh, Kirsten for like, giving you the heads up. Yeah. She's like, these guys are really hard to kill. I did all this good work sneaking up on them, and then you fucking like ratted me out. God damn it. So I didn't know she had so much of a backstory. Uh, Tanus. That's um, Egypt. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, that's uh, the. That's the Phoenician agent. Yeah, in Egypt. Yeah, yes. Do do her missions all the time. Mm hmm. Zamira. Zamira Vada. That is not ringing any bells. Zamira maybe a uh of the Templar stereotype. Currently between She's a time the, and the horn god. spends her days at the horn god awaiting marching orders and imbibing plenty of lager with her unlikely friend and reluctant compatriot Conrad Angle. Okay. All right. So that's just. Dude, Daniel Bach's picture looks in fucking not, nothing like what he looks like in the game to me. No. <laughs> well, this is from February 2012. So it would be, yeah, before the game. Yeah. Launched. It's like, it's like the con, it's probably the concept art. Yeah. I'm like, but these are the characters they're <laughs> they're showcasing. Okay, all right. Yeah, they just give like a nice, you know, smattering. Mm-hmm. Most characters we don't actually interact much with at all. Okay, that's fine. Well, that's cool. Yeah, they they needed something to populate the website, really. Yeah, and what's a good way is to use a lot of uh, concept art. Concept art, yeah. 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 It's all good. It's all good. So the other the other piece of news we had is all about the Dungeons and Dragons uh, OGL, the open gaming license, the shit Ooh. shit show, and the shit show that that is, which yeah. has now sort of been put on the back burner a little bit, just because they were like, like we're gonna change the uh, Hasbro came down to Wizards of the Coast and they were like, you need to basically stop letting people profit off of our IP and they're like we're going to change the open gaming license and everyone went what uh <laughs> no we don't like that I actually watched a really interesting um legal eagle video on on the whole thing which made an interesting okay. point that like there's a potentially there's a lot of places that uh were worried about the OGL they probably mm -hmm. didn't even need the OGL in the first place. Right. Because you can't... Um, what is it? You can't... Is it copyright or trademark? Like, the system. Like, you can't You can't say, like, rolling a D20 to attack is is D&D &D and no one else can thing. do it. You, okay. can't, you can't copyright the mechanics. You can copyright your publication of the mechanics. And so for anyone that like 
you know, wants to include the D and D, you know, stuff, basic rule set with their stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Or, or it, it, that could you would want the the OGL, but like plenty of other stuff that just uses uh, or makes up their own games that just use the same mechanics, like rolling don't, don't to need attack or for yeah, shit. <laughs> like. Like, do like um, a uh, do like a, 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 a some sort of check, some sort of uh, ability check using dice, for example. Yeah, yeah, like you you can make your own game that uses like say D and D five edition rules, and as long as you don't have the D and D five e rules in your publication, like you can use. They can't copyright the rule set. The, like a set of rules is not something that you can copyright. There's actually like mm. a like a press court case precedent about that. Now you can okay. copyright your publication of those rules, so you can't just like photocopy a D and D you know five E cheat that you would get in trouble for unless you have license to do so. Mm-hmm. Um, but but yeah, as far as as far as the rule set itself, like you can't you you I could make a game with the same rules as chess. And call it something completely different, and you 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 can't, chess can't suit me. <laughs> yeah, you can't you know copyright I mean? the move set. Yeah, like I could have pieces that ha- that you know move the same exact ways and just call them something different. Or like you can have a you can have pieces moving around a square board, but like Monopoly. No, can't I mean I could ha- I could have them move that. the exact same. I I could have yeah. all the same mechanics, meaning like you know, you you. Um, my billabong can move diagonally while my uh, bishop moves in an L. Yeah, like you you can do all the same mechanics. You can't you can't copyright mechanics. Uh, uh, like a game, you can't copyright game mechanics. Uh, you can just okay. copyright the <clears throat> publication. Okay. So yeah, it's like I saying like that was, you can't. It was you, a really you can't interesting copyright video. hopscotch. And it so really it's like they can't. Video. Uh, and it, so as long as they don't basically just take whole phrases and whatnot directly from basically the if you just, well, just don't print their manual in your manual in your right. thing you're good you could just say like i think you're even safe to say like compatible with 5e rule set and put none of your own rule sets in there and they just have to go get their own D D manual and then you're good okay like there's lots of ways where you don't need their permission or a uh, license at all. And I think in that video, there's even some instances where like you're better off not having the license all in the first place. Yeah. Like actually signing on to it would potentially be bad for you. But even stuff like agreeing like Dungeons and Dragons online, like that, it, that doesn't even apply to that because they use, they, they have their own licenses that they use for that. But like, right. um, so yeah, so so Dungeons and Dragons basically saying, or Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast basically saying, oh no, we're gonna we're gonna crack down on this on something which right they potentially couldn't even really crack down on necessarily. Yeah, there'd be there'd be heavy a, limitations on what they could actually crack down on. Right, and just and just the concept of Dungeons and Dragons itself in that it's basically very open. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's very, a rule set. You know. It's basically a rule set. So if you mm-hmm. don't if you don't need the lore, if you don't need the D and D characters. Right, you the, the just characters like that the they created set, or the, the you can world use the set that they created. There's, there's nothing illegal about using the rule set. Yeah. You don't need any permission to do that. And so, um, right, so that, that and then they just found out that they, they basically just were like, like, we're going to come down and everyone's like, okay, uh, we don't like this. We're going to pull out of the paid product that you have. We're going to... Right, then and then yeah. all these other companies oh, yeah. got together like it was Paizo really and whatnot. And they're like, we'll just make our own basic dang rule set and just give that yeah. away. <laughs> yeah, it was a really dumb move. It was done really dumb. I'm move. I'm sure by like much higher ups that have no idea what the hell they're talking about or what they're dealing with. Right, yeah. Like that's that's what was basically Hasbro saying, like, we you know, we want to monetize this more, essentially. Or something along yeah. that lines. But uh, and they and they've since pulled back a bit, so I don't I still don't know where that's going. That hasn't been fully resolved yet. But what we no, were able no. to, but while it was going on, um, January fifth through the fifteenth, Brandon on the Star Anvil Discord, because everyone, because of course everyone there is like, what's going on here? Um, part of that was something like 
they put in their OGL like if you basically make a derivative of of fifth edition, then we own the copyright to it essentially. And it's like that would not work for a secret world because the secret world is already owned <laughs> by another copyright holder. Right, but also they just they can't. They literally can't do that anyway. They lose in court. Right. Like, yeah. You you yeah, can't it's, it's, unless it's they unless, do take you to court. You still have to pay and have to go through that whole process. Maybe it right. depends. It depends on the uh, arrangements there, but Tad essentially, broke. sure. They, they'll do anything. But um, but, but, but on the Star Wars Discord, Brandon said he said uh, January fifth. He said so far from what I've seen, we will be fine. Of course, we are continuing to monitor. We are also finishing the work. While we have no intention on changing anything at this time, we do have a backup plan if the world falls apart with 5th edition. One way or another, there will be a TSW game. And then, as well as saying, there are other systems and options. This one is the one we promised. So barring legal shenanigans, it's what we will deliver. But if it went crazy with power on Wizards of the Coast end, we could still make the game. Uh, January 13th, Brandon said that uh, they had a great call with Funcom this morning, got some higher level details of the setting and great feedback on our work so far. They were super helpful and offered insights to help us better frame the story as we finished the book writing up. And then January 15th said the Secret World Tabletop RPG was designed using 5th edition. We are watching the updates and we'll make a final decision when we have all the information we need. We still have a little ways before we have to make a final call on that. So even if Wizards of the Coast now turns around and says, oh, okay, we, did the, we didn't do the OGL or now we're going to kind of do it a different way, essentially, that either way, um, they, either way it will still be made. Whether that is going to be fifth edition or necessarily some other sort of similar ish system still has yet to be seen. But they will try to do fifth edition as much as they can, uh, barring legal shenanigans, essentially. Right, right. But no matter what, they'll be able to publish something. Yeah, they'll be able to publish something. Which is what we or want. Or not something. We'll be able to publish the game. Just maybe, just, you know, potentially with something not called 5e. No, yeah, right. Like, wor- worst case. 5q. We're going to be playing 5Q. with 5q. 4.5z. Right. <laughs> just throw another letter on there. It's fine. TSW1. But they're but they're trying their hardest to make it as five e or five e compatible or appropriate or because uh, that's what they promised. That's what they promised during their Kickstarter. So all said, uh, shouldn't worry too much, but still something to keep an eye on, and that they're still aiming for their October date, no matter what happens, because they said, uh, yeah, they're aiming for October to be the release. But if they can get it out before October. They'll do that as well. So who knows? Who knows? We'll see. I'm still excited for it. Uh, Having the books printed is going to cost a little extra than than what we put in. That's fine. Whatever. It's a mere bag of shells. I'll still want the books. Because eventually my kid's going to be like, what is this? What is this secret world what's thing, a, Dad? What is a book? <laughs> what is yeah? What is this book? What is, what is this book? physical? <laughs> like you open it up and like, what is this? You have the pages don't turn themselves. What kind of bullshit is this? I don't just swipe my hand in front of the screen and it moves. Yeah, I, I don't. What? They don't swipe. Right. Yeah, it's not Why working. Why can't I pinch to zoom? Why can't I pinch to zoom? <laughs> Why that? is it not is reading it, it for me? <laughs> It reminds me of the time before before we had kids um, that we were watching uh, my wife's nephews, the niece and nephew, and at one point they were they were just you know they were going around our house and our house wasn't set up for kids at that point and they found like a, a bunch of cat toys and one of them comes over with like with like a stick with like a feather on the end and he's like how do you, how do you turn this on <laughs> we're like what do you mean. And he's like, is is this supposed to do something? Like it's a like, can I just like how do you, how do you turn it on? 
<laughs> it's like, no, it doesn't turn on. It's a, it's a feather. <laughs> it's a feather on the end of a stick. It doesn't turn on. <laughs> it doesn't actually do anything. That's funny. But yeah, we remember that one. Like, like, how does this, can you, can you turn this on for me? How does this turn on? Like, you no. should ask, like, what do you expect it to do? I, th- I think we did like like I don't know to like light up, light up or something like oh. to have lights to have, I don't know something. It's like it's like is it broken? No, it's not broken. It's it's just a feather on a stick. There's nothing. There's nothing more about it. <laughs> nothing more. Nothing less. Get the cat door. What do you stick. What do you want? Yeah. What do you want from me? <laughs> but they were like, I mean, they were like four at the time. They were like, yeah. So. We just found it funny. That's all. <laughs> but like, it's broken. This is broken. Be like, eh, is it though? Yeah. Why do you still have this broken toy? What are you hanging on to this for? What is this book? Open it up. Words on the inside. I can't even like swipe them. That is a that is, that is a physical book. Yep, it's coming. I would say he already knows how to use our here. um. Uh, to use our uh, Amazon Fire Stick to open up YouTube and find what he wants. So, yeah, at that point, you don't even need school anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's done. I mean, it's you want to learn to do something. There's a tutorial video on YouTube. Like, just go do mm-hmm. it. <laughs> it's right. Exactly. It's the YouTube University. Whatever, whatever you need. Yeah. Multivariable calculus. Of, of course, there's something out there. He's like recites the flags of the world, countries I don't even know where they are or that they existed, and he mm-hmm. knows their fl- he knows them because mm-hmm. he found some YouTube video that was like a song of all the flags of the world, <laughs> like mm-hmm. on his own. Oh, you know what I mean? I was just like, yeah, yeah. And our kids starting out the same way. Like, uh, there's a a video that he loves watching, and it's basically all the elements on the periodic table, <laughs> right. and uh yeah we we, we've learned recently that at his preschool they will basically take him from classroom to classroom to show him off to the other (laughs) kids like they they like took him to like a third grade math class they were were trying to figure out his math level and so they took him to like a second grade math class and he was like oh yeah you just you know you do this and then he took him to a third grade math class and he was like doing the work on the board and then he took him to a fourth grade math class and he was again doing the work on the board and they were like Wait, what? <laughs> hmm. You're like, uh, yeah, then took him to a science room and he's like, oxygen, hydrogen, yeah, lithium, tungsten, blah, 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 blah. It's like, those are the actinides. Those are the, yeah, just, and then they're like, what? He's going to watch out for the uh, dihydrogen oxide. Oh, <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> It'll kill you if you get yeah. too much of it. 90% of all toxins are dihydrogen monoxide. Um, yeah, but we, we, <laughs> a couple of times they've been like, and then we'll go to his school. He's like a superstar. It's ridiculous. Like, we'll walk in and everyone's like, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. And we're like, what have you been doing? And he doesn't tell us anything. <laughs> None of your business. <laughs> he doesn't. Tell, he doesn't tell us a dang thing. We're like, so, uh, like they said us a thing, and it was like he did like a, a a reading in front of the in front of the school. And we're like, okay. And like, yeah, he did it. Like he he's, he stood by the podium and read off of this sheet and spoke into the microphone. We're like, okay. <laughs> like that's that's great. How did that come about? Or like, and, it, and then it was something like a couple of days later, and he starts singing some song, and we're like, "Is that a song from like the the thing you did in front of the school?" And he's like, "Yeah." Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> well, we we figure he'll eventually tell us things. It's just two or three days later he gets around to it. Yeah, we got a lot going on. Busy, yeah. Busy guy. <laughs> or what is it? What is it? Uh. Was it my uh, my wife said that she uh, she had to like she dropped him off and she walked inside the the school building with him and um so we're like just walking to his pre K class 
that it was like four or five girls were like, Hey, it's him. And like gave him a big <laughs> hug. And she's like, what is, what is, what's going on here? <laughs> like, Oh, we love this kid. Oh yeah. We're like, what is going on here? Be like, how popular are you? You're five. How popular are you? Just wait. Yeah. Right. Like, oh, it gets worse. Like, he'll take over. Take over the whole place. Eh, what are you going to do? H T yeah, H2O is water, and H2O2 is hydrogen peroxide. What is H2O4? Drinking. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to find the best chemistry's jokes, but all the good ones are all gone. Mmm... <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't have any. <laughs> gonna make me think. There's a re oh there's a there was a really good Nope, can't even can't even remember it. Oh, it's a shame. There's a really good dad joke I heard the other day and I was like, I have to remember that. I did not remember that. And then you failed. You failed. You absolutely failed. You had one job. Yep. And yet, still, the only one that comes to my head is, uh, um, what does it see? Like, why does why does Norway's navy have barcodes on the sides of their ships? Hmm? So when they come back to port, they can scan the navy in. For for someone that for for some reason that's like the only real dad joke that keeps going around in my head. That one I remember. Oh, did you hear about the fire at a circus? It was intense. Mm. Uh, So anyway, yeah, that was the news we had for Secret World. Uh, (laughs) uh, For other games by by Funcom, Conan Exiles started their second season Battle Pass on December 6th. Uh, Age of Sorcery Chapter 2 and they posted a year in review video showcasing everything that's been done in Conan Exiles over the uh, over the past year and they're they're approaching their anniversary I think yeah mm-hmm. at the end of the month they're approaching their uh, sixth, sixth anniversary of Conan Exiles interesting um, so they showcased their update 2.8 follower emotes Update 3.0, the Battle Pass, uh, an encounter system, perks and attributes revamp, building system revamp, weapons and armor illusion system, headhunting, another Battle Pass, a pet companion rebalance, uh, a lot of stuff going on in Conan Exiles. I have not played that much of Conan Exiles still. <laughs> For what I played, I like it. I mean, I like it. I like the concept of it. Um, yeah, I just haven't played it that much. Yeah, I'm not into the games out there. I'm not into repetitive gameplay, and there's a lot of repetitive gameplay in in Conan Exiles. To, to like, you know, if you want to build all the stuff, you have to build all the stuff up, and then you can explore out further to get better and different stuff, and then build build up. And so, there's a lot of repetitiveness going on. But I mean, it's a um, survival game, so of course there is. Of course, there's repetitiveness. I mean, there's there's different ways to play it. I've seen the speed run of it; that was pretty cool. Um, True, but um, yeah, it's been a while since I since I played it. Uh, but I, it is I a still... draw to me, though, because I do love a good exploration game. Mm-hmm. I love a game where where you can go out and explore and find something that is supposed to be there on purpose. Like I, I love that. I like how I can. I'm like, yeah, I don't really play it. I only have 225 hours played. It's like. <laughs> For me, that's that's that's, that's, that's actually yeah, that's actually that's that's pretty low. Yeah, <laughs> two two hundred twenty five. Do you that's, even play the game? Yeah, right. That's like, oh, he must not like that game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eh. <laughs> you haven't got out of the you, concert you or the you uh, tried, character um, creator. <laughs> rookie numbers. Hey, scratch. Did you say that with uh, um? Um, what was the, what was, what's, what's the game? The, the, uh, the MMO that is, uh, more recent by Amazon. Um, New World? Oh, um, not New World. Lost published Star by Amazon. 
Lost Ark. That's it. Yeah. You said you played Lost Ark and you were like, oh, I mean, you know, you really haven't started the game until you get to like this point in the story. But that point in the yeah. story is like the end game. That point of the story is like <laughs> the end no, of the story. No, it's not, it's not. It's not the end game. I got the, it feels like, like that's like you feel you feel like it like you're doing shit forever, but it's all like the tutorial. Like it's like you'll sink like I don't know like ten plus hours or something, and you'll mm-hmm. get to the you and you'll be like, oh, there's this huge quest. I've done all these battles, and you get to this city, and then you realize that like the city is now teaching you the basics of the game, and just now unlocks like your place and all the actual ability to do any kind of upgrading or anything. And then mm. you realize this city is a fucking dot on the goddamn world. <laughs> and then everything you did was like literally nothing. And you're like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's something like I got to like almost like the third or fourth zone. And I was like, yeah, should, shouldn't I have reached, reached something no, like see, that already? That's because that's beca- and I have the same problem because you think that that's like a zone. It, mm. It's not. No, it's not like it's like russian nesting dolls you don't realize that what you're in is actually like not so much a, a zone as it is like a block yeah <laughs> on the street <laughs> you know that's mm-hmm. that's not even not even in a fucking two horse town never mind the mm-hmm. city <laughs> like because it loads it loads smaller maps and you go from like this to this to this and you do like i mean it's been out a while it, you know like you fight like giant battles like we're like castle walls yeah. get knocked down there's like a siege and at that point you're still like 75 percent to like the fucking beginning of the game yeah <laughs> like, like you're not even to the beginning of the game yet like mm-hmm. because because like at that point i'm thinking when playing that when i finally got to the city i'm thinking like oh like okay that was all the content right and i've reached the city and now mm-hmm. it's got to be like raids and upgrading or whatever right Right, right. The the right the end game of our perpetual system and yeah, dailies. No, and that. no, no. Now's where it goes. Like this is a this is a vendor. This is this type of vendor. Here's your house. Here's all the different ways you can research and upgrade your whole because you have an island, not just a house, and like mm-hmm. and your boat and all this shit. And oh, by the way, you have a boat now. So now look at the map and see the billion fucking other places you can go that all have their own cities just as big if not bigger than all the shit you just did like Mm -hmm. like no the story is not fucking remotely done like and yeah you could you it's kind of like like it makes people complain about like secret world's intro being like long that's it's like no it's not months long right lost arcs like hold my beer (laughs) in fact hold this case you're gonna need it (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I was like, because I gave up well before that in Lost Ark, and let's see how um, how long I did I play it? I don't think I have it through Steam, so I don't know how I'd see my. Oh wait, maybe I do have it through Steam. Yeah, I have like fifty hours in Lost Ark. No, I just have a, I just have a week. Apparently, I played Lost Ark for a week, seven days. So I, I, I have I about twenty hours out or the so. Little things that you collect, the little um, I was going oh, back God. through all the maps. And finding the little secret green, what were they called? The, yeah, the seeds or something. The, yeah, the whatever. I was I was trying to get all of them in, in the game. I was grinding that pretty hard. Um, Makoko's, <laughs> Makoko seeds. Yes, yes, that's what they are. Uh, yeah, I was grinding the shit out of those. Then I ended up. Oh, then Elden Ring came out. <laughs> Elden Ring came out. I'll do I it. Gone yeah. back to Lost Ark since. See, whereas Exiles, I have like what two? I said two twenty-five. Elden Ring, I have seven hundred hours. <laughs> still, that's which is still numbers. nothing compared to Secret World. It has like fifteen thousand. Yeah. Fifteen, fifteen thousand. Amazing. Because every time, every time I hear yeah gameplay numbers, I always think back to two thousand hours is a full-time job for a full year. Yeah, well, that if you don't sleep, you can get in a lot more playtime. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, yeah, fifteen thousand. Well, that's you know, seven, seven and a half years. I'm trying to think if I even have any game that even comes close. I don't even know. 
And it's so it's funny. It's like it's not even on the game. Like during that during the time span of playing Super Bowl, I also like beat like all the Assassin Creed games. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I didn't really farm in those, but I played through them and, and beat them. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's see what else. Dune Spice Wars had a new line in the sand update, where the main changes were they added end game statistics. Didn't realize that was missing. Um, military alerts now appear on the border of the screen. Units can now hold their position. Oh, you cut out. Uh, main bases and deep desert spawning has changed to make maps that are both more fair and varied. Change spice spawn to ensure less spiceless starts. Military balancing and major performance improvements. So, uh, so uh, Dune Spice Wars still coming along. I'm still waiting for Dune Spice Wars to have like a, um basically a storyline playthrough sort of like a a campaign still kind of waiting for that i would love to see it at this point i don't know if it's going to happen but i would still love to see it um metal hellsinger uh their update 1.5 added new weapon skins among other fixes and they were nominated for the Navigator Awards, NAVGTR Awards, in several categories like Outstanding Game Music or Performance Based, Outstanding Original Light Mix Score. If there's anything about uh, <laughs> Metal Hellsinger's score, I wouldn't call it light. It's outstanding Performance in a Drama. That's a new one. They were nominated, yeah, nominated for outstanding performance in a drama for, uh, uh, yeah, Metal, Metal Hellsinger, known for its drama. Uh, outstanding song collection, get that one. Outstanding song, original or adapted, again. So, and they said winners will be announced for these awards February 14th. So, the, the Nav, Navigator Awards. Navigator awards like netscape yeah 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 it's a lot of these award shows you never even heard of holy shit i had more time in dco than i thought like 880 hours in there not bad now i'm gonna look at my steam that was that was like the that was the thing i played before secret world and technically it's an mmo but i've never i played it like a single player game much I'll like say I one started. of the ones I have actually yeah. never played. Uh, huh? DCUO. Really? Rare is it that I? Yeah, rare is it that I haven't tried one. And that one, not so much. Like I would just make a character up to through like the little intro story. Essentially, I think it's like level thirty, and that's when like you know multiplayer content unlocked, and then I would just go make a new character. <laughs> like, like I was not. I wasn't. I didn't want to play with other people. I didn't want to do like raids and grind for gear. I just liked making th- themed heroes. Like I'm gonna okay. make this hero like this because I'm a big combo collector. So I'm, I'm gonna make this one kind of like this guy, with, like a similar power set as possible in the game, and then just play through the mm-hmm. story like that. And I just played through the story, apparently 800 hours worth, <laughs> as like 15 different characters. Of all different variations. Can't imagine if I actually had done the multiplayer, like found it, found like a guild or whatever, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. <laughs> to, to actually have like that much. Like, if that's how much, I mean, that's how much time I have in a single player, you know? Mm-hmm. In a single player version of it, if you will. See what do I got? Star Trek Online, one thousand six hundred eighty-two hours. It's not bad. It's getting up there. Secret World Legends, one thousand one hundred thirty-one hours. I don't even know how it knows that, because I do not play through Steam. Mm. Yeah, because you yeah. play before it came to the Steam sh- shop. Well, I know, I know it came to Steam, but I never switched over to Steam. So I have no idea how it knows that. Are you sure he didn't? Yeah, I only got like seven hundred forty-nine yeah. hours. Did you buy it through Steam? No. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> so why was, why as far as I can tell, 
Um, How would it be in your Steam? Because because look, TSW. No well, no. Well, wait. Mm, it would have if you got TSW through Steam, it might have those hours. Now well, this says Secret you know World I mean? Legend. I mean, it might be. Well, but I remember on like Steam Legends took the place of TSW, so it also. Right. Like, okay. So it might be like a combined. Okay. Yeah. Maybe? So Maybe. it might just that might just be your TSW hours showing up as Legends potentially. Yeah, that sounds that sounds more likely. So I was like, no, because Secret World Legends launched and they launched basically not through Steam, and so I downloaded it through. Um, through their website, and I just never switched over. When you launch Legends, do you have to type in your name and password, or do you click play? I have to type in my name and password. All right, then yeah, you're logging in as... What is yeah. it executable tracked by Steam, though? Like, is it launched through there? I launch it... Well, no, because I launch it through um, GOG's Galaxy. Oh, I fucking don't know them. I'll mess with that shit. Yeah, uh, the thing it, it's pulling it from Steam, probably. Well, I mean, like it could just be, that thousand hours could just be your TSW hours that it now sees. As it's possible, legends. yeah. Because yeah, my GOG my... Galaxy, I pulled it through by in GOG Galaxy. You can not only you you can not only basically bring in all of the different things like you know uh, Steam and Bethesda's and. Uh, Ubisoft's and Origin and, you know, all the different ones that are out there, uh, as well as GOG's. But then you could also just say, no, just launch it, launch this game from this executable, which is what I do. And yeah, that's what um, I do. that doesn't necessarily matter, though, if Steam knows the executable, like if it's if it's in its system, it will track the executable anyways. True. So I don't yeah, I don't know how it knows. So it just it just depends. How do you how do you know? How do you know? Which I might have been doing as well because, yeah, because before the game was actually on there, you could launch it through Steam, through whatever. Because, yeah, you could do the same thing. You could add a game's, uh, act add a non Steam game onto Steam and then run it through it. And then it'll use the Steam, it'll use Steam's overlay, which is a nice overlay. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I actually really like it. <laughs> You're showing GOG Galaxy. But I know sometimes it doesn't uh, track the numbers or the hours that much. No, it doesn't, doesn't necessarily do that nicely. It says it tries I've only to played Overwatch them. 2 for three hours. Three hours? Yeah. That's Nothing. like... I don't play the game much. I was going to say, you probably do more than three hours at a time. <laughs> <laughs> you, you probably play for three hours every time you launch it. Never mind, like, your total play time. Yeah. Maybe it's just the last time. Maybe it's the amount of time that you played it last. Not no, it total. doesn't change. Oh, weird. Yeah, because I played it just. I played a little bit before uh, the show, and it's mm -hmm. always been at three hour mark for That's super yeah. since I've been using uh, Galaxy. Yeah. It's like, well, yeah. Here's an example. I've been playing. For a reason. Um, <laughs> I've been playing Fallout New Vegas late, lately. And I have almost I have almost a hundred hours in that, and that's fully through Steam. That one's fully through Steam, but GOG Galaxy right hasn't hasn't pulled those numbers over yet, or can't pull those over, numbers over for whatever reason. And so it says uh, I've zero percent completed. I've never launched it, and yet I launch it all the time through. <laughs> so weird. So yeah, who knows? Who knows what it is? I still love GOG Galaxy. Don't get me wrong. Oh, uh, I think it's. Um, I think it's it's great for for joining everything together, especially I, really like I look reason. at like own games four hundred and eighty five. <laughs> yeah, my own game is a little bigger. I than don't that. care for it. Like, we'll play the game Anthem. Anthem. Oh man, I remember that game. I remember one of my friends was like, "Anthem's gonna be the next big thing." Just you wait. Or I got five hundred and ninety two like... subscription games. It's big for like a week. Oh, I had, I had, um, technically, I guess. So, I mean, it's not, I don't know. It's my news. It's not, it's not really like news. News. Go for it. Um, my my cabal has is officially dissolved. Really? I made the decision. 
Uh, so, uh, yeah. What was it called again? What was what? it? Was who? It was WHO. That's right. Right. Yeah. Officially, officially dissolved. My Discord's so still there. I just, I just renamed it. Um, oh, okay. Um, uh, how come? Just drama was, or just tired? Pretty of it? much. I was the only one in it that was active anymore. <laughs> that to um, do it too. Right, right. And so, and unfortunately, because like pretty much everyone I play played with was EU time, and I'm not, so it made like recruiting very difficult. Like back when Shadi was still playing, it was me and him co-leading it. Like, okay, he was the one that would, uh, you know, be on that time zone and recruit more players because that's where the majority of players we played with. And then I would play, you know, at my lunch or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like <laughs> right, I would do yeah. raids. I would do raids on my lunch hour and shit. Um, <clears throat> it's been that way since CSW. Um, I just tend to. F- it tends to be the more progression-minded uh, players are generally uh, not in the U.S. Not that there's none that exist, but by comparison, just numbers-wise, it's just. I think way, I think a lot of way games more U.S. Well. players are yeah. more chill, like just chill, run around players, and way mm. higher percentage of like uh, EU uh, players are, you know, grind grind for the the top end thing so yeah i'm just not in a position to be online and recruit or 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 have you know the time to do that so eventually uh people sort of also just life happens it's been it's been 10 years of secret world people get older and get jobs Mm -hmm. and (laughs) you know what i mean and Mm -hmm. age out People, yeah, pe- people. Uh, other people apparently go have their lives, and then don't game, mm-hmm. which is different from me. But you know, whatever. <laughs> but I, 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 I definitely, I definitely uh, understand. You know, that's I'll pretty say, normal. I, 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 we, I, I, we have a son. I, I find time to game. Yeah, because over the past couple yeah. of weeks with the more family issues, it's become a little harder. But you know, but I, no but I get it when, you, when you're. When's well, I guess when stuff's like, you know, when you're just starting out, right? Yeah. When you when you go when you went when you go from like, oh, I was doing nothing all day to like, now I have a job and this and this. It probably takes time to like, adjust. Right. I yeah. Like I didn't I didn't have like a gaming group when I first started out with all that stuff like. I would still game like when I had time, but that was just when I did. You know what I mean? I didn't have like commitments. I didn't have. But I like, feel like a group I was committed to. It's gonna sound weird, but I almost feel like it's more like a generational thing because I didn't really. I gamed a bit, like in high school and whatnot, and even college I gamed a bit, but not like anything near. It was almost like post college. It was like, oh, well, I found all this time, <laughs> but that was like post time, like but with like having a job and with having all that that it's like oh yeah and that and that's where i found the time to do it um whereas there's a difference too between like gaming like like just when you have time and gaming with like a group that has like progression goals and a schedule that is right right which different animal which i never did i never i've never done that yeah that's the kind like you know we had scheduled we had multiple raids scheduled a week we had like layers scheduled Mm -hmm. like there was, there was a, you know, if you, you sign up, you need to show up, you know, it's, <clears throat> it's, it's yeah. not just like, I'm going to log in randomly and play the game and you just happen to be on. There's other cabals for that. Like our, our cabal was a, was a progression minded cabal. Um, right, right, right. So, but that type of thing tends to burn out anyways. It just does. Yeah. Most most people can't or don't want to sustain that. I'm still raiding every week. It's just not just not with. It's just I'm the only cabal member doing it. <laughs> I haven't missed it. I haven't missed a raid in like years. Uh, at this point, I don't think. 
Uh, but it's just being filled with other people I know in the game that are at the level to do it and are around and are, and are happy to have someone else to raid with. Yeah, um, to fill to fill in the slot or to have yeah to be a yeah or filling like, in someone oh, else's slot. Yeah, we'll, we'll get we'll get we'll get everyone a clear. So it's just like sort of it just comes together somehow every week. Let it honestly, if it ever stopped, I probably would be like, all right, I guess we're just not doing that anymore. Like it wouldn't be, you know what I mean? But as long as people yeah. still show up, like I'll I'll do it. I enjoy doing it, um, and I have no fear of repetition. Add infinite items no <laughs> like i just i don't it doesn't bother me um <laughs> that's that's why that's why like i said that's why i think we make the a, a decent relative team because uh right you have no fear of repetition whatsoever i try to avoid it entirely <laughs> <laughs> like wait i can do the same thing for three hours in a row sweet <laughs> yeah and i'm like wait I'm, i need to do the same thing twice what the heck what is what's that about no i'm out of here what is this um, nonsense? But yeah, just content I was like, out there. I was looking at some. Why is it still a cabal uh, when it's like mm-hmm. literally just me? Like, right. All right. I'm just gonna you know rename the Discord to like my Discord, you know, and mm-hmm. and the same people are are still members. I didn't kick anyone out or anything. It's just like we're just gonna lose the cabal tag uh, because it's just silly. <laughs> It's not a. It's there's no group. <laughs> I just came over and saw what uh, what your oh my new group what is. your cabal <laughs> is yeah <laughs> the hair club the hair club yep I say I, I the cabal that I'm in is basically just me it's it's my it's my yeah because I mean lots of people have even people that were in my cabal were also technically mm-hmm. had their own cabals for the bank storage yeah right like. We had mem we had members uh, that you know uh, had that were technically in game had their own cabal, but that's just because they needed bank space. Yeah, um, yeah, totally. I remember making my cabal. Daddy trouble. <laughs> Daddy trouble. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know. Like it's a, uh, I figured it's New Year. I was looking at stuff and I was like, okay, let's not. Let's okay. stop kidding ourselves that this is actually going to all of a sudden populate with like 15 people. Like, but this right, yeah. be the year. Like, 2023. I don't, I don't have the time, and I'm not playing at the right time zones, even if I did have the time. I'm, I'm busy doing stupid shit, like mm-hmm. playing as a gatekeeper with all the text translated wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's like, at that, because that's, that's when I play Secret World, and in, in that time slot, there's uh i don't i don't know of us of an active uh u.s cabal certainly not of an active progression one there might be some people just randomly playing you know what i mean mm-hmm. but uh, which i don't have a problem like helping people out like i'm always down on the discord because someone will be like oh you know i um I've never done this before, whatever. I'd be like, yeah, hold on. Let me run you through a dungeon real quick. Like, I don't have a problem doing that. But, like, uh, I, when it comes to... But unless it's, like, are, a concentrated effort to bring everybody up so that they can... Well, right, but that's progression, yeah. When it, when it comes to, like, higher level content, like, I... I don't... I, I'm the bottom. No one should be lower than me. <laughs> That's my expectation. It's like everyone, everyone in the group should be better than me, because I know I know where I stand. And this may sound silly to some people that see me do weird shit. There's a difference between mm-hmm. doing weird, funky shit in the game mm-hmm. and being like, uh, and being top you know, edge, yeah, being an optimized top end player. Mm-hmm. As far as I'm concerned, when it comes to like the some of the best players in the game, like. I try and hang, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm the bottom rung of what I find acceptable from like a progression group. Now, if we're just if we're just you know rolling through E fives or E eights or whatever, like having a good time, like I, I don't care. Like I'm I'm yeah. down I'm down to help out. But when it comes to the progression stuff, like my expectation is, uh, you know, I'm I'm the bottom. You all should be doing better than me. <laughs> um, certainly not less. 
Certainly not less. <laughs> Doing less than me, something is horribly wrong. Because I know how much I'm fucking up. I, I know I know how much of my opti- of my rotation that is not optimized correctly. And that's that's mm-hmm. the other thing too, is like is I probably know more than I can actively execute. So I, I am aware that like I, I can hit I can spike some good numbers sometimes, but my overall performance is is you know lower than what I would expect. Uh, the the main thing I have going for me is consistency and consistency mm-hmm. even if shit's consistency upside down. means a lot though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like consistency if I'm upside down or consistent consistency if I'm playing on bananas. Like like I my peak might be like mm. here, mm. you know, instead of here. Like my peak might be here, but I can hit that peak on fucking uh, you know rubber chicken. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. that's that's the difference. Is I can I can whatever that level is, I can usually hold it uh, even uh, really stupidly. <laughs> um. But yeah, anyways, that was that was uh, that was okay. My that's news something. is yeah. <laughs> uh, decided that it was you know. Time, time to put that to bed. Um, and uh, but you know we're still doing the raids. The raids have been fun. We've been having fun turning people into random things. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were the we were the test dummies from the flamethrower <laughs> section. Uh, right. This week. That was pretty. That was pretty Which, cool. Is that, that's not even really a thing anymore. I mean, they're still there. They're, you can't get the flamethrower, but the flamethrower test dummies are there. Okay. Like in the, it's like in the stuff. nursery. Yeah, yeah, that that room's still there. Those dummies are still there, and will scratch their chin when they idle, which doesn't make any goddamn sense. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to see something funny, go watch the test dummies idle. Uh, <laughs> everything's uh, alive. Every, yep. Everything's everything's true. Yeah, do I? I still one of my favorite ones though was just turning us into the pants. That was. Fucking tickled me. Yeah, I saw your, your thumbnail or picture of that. Yeah. <laughs> just the fact that there was like ten pairs of pants just running around with with guns, like shooting mm-hmm. at the lurker. And then I made a really awesome picture. Well, in my opinion, an awesome picture for in, for my Instagram. There was um, it took me a bunch of tries to get it, but on the the little rubble pile in the New York raid, uh, I turned all the filth guys coming at me into pants and I turned mm. myself into the shirt. So it was like King of the <laughs> Hill, but like I was surrounded being attacked by pairs of pants. I was a shirt with a shotgun being attacked by pairs of pants. That that really tickled me. I like that one. It took a little, little, little while to set up correctly. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was that was pretty pretty cool. Because those, those are from those are from the seven silences. The pants. The, oh right, because yeah, the pants. You had to chase are, your clothes. Yeah. You had the like the shirt and the pants. You you had to chase them in the in the that event. So mm-hmm. those are uh, like a model. So with the photo mode thing, you can uh, apply that to yourself, and you're just running around <laughs> as like a pair of pants or or a shirt, whichever. Which is pretty great. I also just love the way they animate. Like it just looks so it's so good. I do miss but, that mission. Honestly, that's a good mission. Photo mode is probably like Fox has made a ton of really really good mods. Photo mode, I think, is a game changer because it just adds so much as it far as like so exploration and yeah. Like you can go see things with the with detaching the camera and looking around. Like you can explore. You can get way better like pictures but just yeah just being able to be like i wonder what's over here but then being able to like change your character so at least to you you look like any number of things which also mm-hmm. lets you also you can change what other things look like like pretty much uh most targetable npcs you can also change what they look like so you can sort of arrange your own your own uh picture of different characters and stuff um and you can play animations as well. Mm-hmm. You can play animations. So, like, like it just... It's the closest thing to new content the game has had in a couple of years. 
and it, it's basically like yeah opening up the the box so you can see how the sausage is made in yeah a way. yeah yeah for sure but like it just like, I don't know, it's, like we were discussing putting the putting our apartments inside the Gaia engine <laughs> like, like what what yeah like, as, we and as we, as we talk about it, it's like, well, it makes sense, right? Because you don't have loading screens in between the two in which, you know, you're yeah. going back and forth. So it's like, it totally makes sense, but... Well, it makes sense it's in the same instance. I still think it's a little mm -hmm. bit of an inside joke that they put it inside the guy engine. Yeah, I, I mean, they could put it anywhere was, inside, like, yeah. They could have put it anywhere in the instance and they put it in the guy engine. I, I, I feel like that's a, that's a least... A, that was an in-joke to themselves. They never expected anyone mm -hmm. else to get that joke. Or see it, the joke. But I 100% think they had a little chuckle that they put the apartments in the guy engine. How could you not? So we go to Andy and be like, when did you know this? Why didn't you ever tell us? I just got turned into pants. <laughs> We're pants! We all did. Pants. We all did. We're all pants. Watch when you jump around. Like, just the way the legs animate. I mean, it's just the way they normally animate, but without having feet or a torso, it just seems so much cooler. <laughs> We're all pants. Thank you to whoever did that. I'm going to tap dance because what else is better to do with pants? Cross pants. Sword dash pants. Look at this. Wait, hold on. I need to change. There we go. Right? I'm attacking you. Yeah, I'm going to do a little part of the kick. Ready? And... Yeah, that was pretty Woo. cool. <laughs> Hold on, let's see. Let, let's see. Can we do Anaconda? Yeah, look at that. Shaking, oh, shaking the it's, ass in those pants. Single ladies. Oh yeah. Oh, Billy G. Big hip motion. <laughs> well, I was I'm waiting gonna... for another character. I was waiting for someone else to come upon us and see what was going on. <laughs> I'm do Hitman lean. And no, they're just they're just walking away. Where are you going? Well, We're all pants. A lot of times, if you're not here when it's done, then you don't see it anyways. Ah, uh, it's true. It's true. Hitman Lean looks pretty good in the pants. Oh, in the series, yeah. The floating <laughs> AK. The floating AK. There we go. Oh my gosh. I wonder what robot dance looks like. <laughs> I imagine fairly standard yeah well, you can't see the arms but you can see the, you can see a little pop and lock motion uh we got yes Sing, single ladies is, is pretty excellent i will i will say i'm, I'm doing hip-hop right now hip to the hop to the hippity hop oh hold on um samba <laughs> oh what about uh are you doing freestyle right I'm doing freestyle, yeah. Yeah. Oh, tap dance. I'm gonna do gang gangaman style. <laughs> actually, actually freestyle. Zombies. Freestyle almost looks like it kind of breaks it for a second. <laughs> yeah, because you 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 perform some pretty crazy moves there. Yeah. Zombie strut. Good lord, we're just t testing all the dances as pants. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. This is arcane channeling. I'm now floating pants. Floating magic pants in the air. Uh, what does Bingo Blast look like? Oh wait, cartwheel. <laughs> headstand. Uh, <laughs> oh, where's where's my headstand? Where is it? Where's my headstand? Uh, here, wait, headstand? Yeah. There we go. Uh, I don't know where mine is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> we can moonwalk. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Uh, let's see, push-ups <laughs> does not look right. Um, Worship, but yeah, that's just. Oh, my head appeared when I unfurled my wings. Interesting. <laughs> and now your head's stuck there. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I've seen that happen before. Unfurl wings does weird shit for some reason. I don't know exactly why. Bingo blast. So weird. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's see. Evil laugh. It's better with the head, actually, with the evil laugh. <laughs> I just. 
Oh, does it just with a head leading if back? I do like a sprint. Oh, <laughs> just a pair of pants on a horse. Pulled out my shotgun. Apparently, when I throw snowballs. Uh, let's see. lock and load. Oh, what about the the ninja sprint? Yes, Naruto pants. That's <laughs> on the scooter. Oh yeah, this just looks like a scooter running around. It's pretty good. Oh, I can do Malice Run because I have an actual head. I wonder what happened if uh, if I did that one because I what don't about... have an actual head. Where's Where's Ghost Runner? It's just right. It's just the Beehive. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> No. Wait, do you have a ghost runner? Uh, maybe, probably, maybe. There we go, floating pants. Man, I wish my now I wish my head was gone because I would just I would just be the floating green skull. One time. Is it? It does it start with T? Is it the ghost runner? Um, it it does. Okay, no, I do not have that one. Yes, yeah, the green, the green glowy one. You mean Ghost Rider? Ghost Rider? No. Third Age Ornithopter. All right, the guy go guy going by. Oh, what about Gravity Skates? On the full outfit. Nice, nice. Feet of flame. Oh, that's <laughs> lit. Legs, legs of flame, really. A pair of pants that's on fire. What are you gonna do? Drop, drop, and roll. It's too bad that right everyone passing by now probably just sees us the way we are. I'm like those guys are stupid. <laughs> Why is this running around? <laughs> around. These guys just running around for. <laughs> and we're like, I'm a pair of pants. Can't you see? I'm just a pair of pants. You don't know me. <laughs> I these sick kickflips. I don't even need feet. Oh, silliness. All silliness. A doom board. I'm trying to see if there's any other fun ones. I do not have that many sprints. There's a lot of sprints I do not have. I think I have all of them. Yeah, I, I like have how all of them. Uh... Well, that comes from achievement, caches. Yeah, I just don't happen to have most of the ones from. Yeah, I just or, literally or have the yeah. items. I literally have all the sprints. I yeah. have no sprints. <laughs> I even got all the different colors of street scooter. <laughs> right, because like there's like street scooter them? olive. Because I can make that happen. There's street scooter all <laughs> all the sprints. Yeah, this not something I focused on collecting, I guess. Oh. Doom board. I remember really getting the doom board. Yeah, I remember people bitching about that a whole bunch. Cause they didn't give you much time. I remember if that was the. Yeah, they gave plenty of time. <laughs> I think I had like weeks to spare. I was like, "What are you guys talking about?" <laughs> I remember being a very time limited event. It was a time limited event. That was the. Yeah. That was the. Um, oh, got it. Oh, if I got it, I mean, you know. Yeah, if you was got it, it wasn't that bad, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. If it, if I got it, there was enough time. I'm saying, like, people complained a bunch, but like, it was. It really wasn't that bad. I, I got it. I think, at, literally as fast as possible. Because uh, I I just I wanted it, and so I put in the effort to get it. Um, but I'm pretty sure, like, it had like a month or something, I think, to get it. And I think it took me like less than two weeks or something like that. Like it, I remember being, I remember being done like way fucking early. It was challenges related, right? It was, yes. Yeah. See, I was doing all my challenges anyways because I was on that grind oh, okay. for the challenge achievement. And I think someone else beat me by like a couple days or something. Uh, Because I 
might have had a kid or something. I don't remember. I like missed like a I day. I want to say it was because months. the challenge system was new at the time. The challenge system like just yeah, they were brand was new, released. but it took like a year yeah. to get the. Um, it took like a year to get the challenges achievement. The mm -hmm. it was like a thousand. Was it like a thousand or something? Or or more? It was some stupid number of challenges that literally took. I want to say like a year, maybe maybe more. It was like, oh, if you do every single one possible, then you know it's going to take you a a really <laughs> long time. <laughs> and I remember. Like a, um... I remember, like, I got it, but I was doing it without, with basically without trying to do as much group content as possible. So without doing the group content, it was still possible to get. It just did. It, just, it took a while longer. Yeah, yeah, but I was doing everything because I was getting all the challenges all the time, just because I was grinding for that that year plus to get the. It's like the gold dragon. Actually, I might uh, be able to exactly this how thing. much time as I'm insane. Right. Is this thing. You you got that um, when you did the it's Master of Challenges. I don't even you know if it's in do... Legends. I think that was in TSW. Okay, here you go. You had to do 35 challenges. It started in February of 2017. <laughs> and you had two weeks. And it took me nine days to get them all. So Master of Challenges was 2,000 challenges. Oh, wow. Okay. So I was grinding every challenge possible every oh. day. No, wait. I lied. Uh, the Gravity, Gravity Skates Challenge was a whole month. Are about, and wait, are you talking days. about skates or Doom Board? Oh, that was a great uh, the the skates the skates. Skates was longer. Skates had more time. Yes. Yeah. Skates was a full month and six days. Yeah, so, the doom like, board was the shorter five. one. Okay, maybe. But it I... wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. I mean, there were so many challenges in TSW. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there was way more challenges to do. Like, your challenge list, just from the side-by-side -side playthrough, like, your challenge list was way bigger, and you had way more uh, options. Okay, yeah. yeah. The the Gravity Skates was... Um, had to have been the, the, the second one that they did with that challenge. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, way longer, and uh, I only started doing my... I call it I call it basically my um micro journaling, my gaming micro journaling of what of what I do on a daily basis gaming wise. I only your, started that in 2017. Started your obsessive compulsive disorder. My, yes, my <laughs> my thing that makes people go, "Wait, you do what now?" And I'm like, "Shut up, I like data." It's basically a collection of data. Well, then why don't you marry him? I love data. What I'm doing right now is just running a figure eight between you, nonstop, yeah. <laughs> for as long as possible. <laughs> I'm driving the dragon pet absolutely crazy. I was say it has no idea what it wants to do. Yeah, because it's like, what the fuck are you doing? It's supposed to like fly here. in a circle, like around my head or something, and like, it's like, would you? Just doesn't like data. Fuck off. It's lore. It's lore. That's the problem. <laughs> Well, this stream is pants. Hey, Ruffin. But I'm sh I haven't looked at chat in a minute. Sorry. I don't have my... Uh, <laughs> I don't have my uh, audio thing that I usually have. The three-body three body problem? Body. The three-body... The problem is that we don't have bodies. And the real problem is we don't have shirts. We need, we need to do PvP, and, like, some people can be pants, some people can be shirts. That would be amazing. <laughs> Pants versus shirts. Pants versus shirts. <laughs> Royal Rumble. PvP laundry, essentially. You know, I could make that happen in Rosenbrawl. So I could target people individually and just turn them into one or the other. <laughs> That'd be really funny. I think that should be coming up soon, actually. 
speaking yeah, of something that should be happening soon valentine's um, event should be next month yeah like pretty which is coming right up it started last year february 14th so two weeks we've got time roughly a little over two weeks a little over two weeks yeah until the valentine's day event rosen brawl rosen brawl for everybody all this, the the all the heart cake me Game cost me an arm, a leg, a torso, feet. But I still have my head. Ha ha. <laughs> Everything's half off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so not only like Rosenbrawl, but we'll have the, yeah, we'll have the, um, what the fuck is the dungeon called? What is her name? The investigation, uh, the investigation and, uh, and the, the dungeon, the, the, the mini fight. boss fight that I can't. I'm blanking on the. I want to say it started with. I forget it as well. <laughs> the bee lady. I've only done the fucking thing on cupcakes, uh, but I can't. I'm just blanking. I'm just. It's late. I'm tired. The masked say, woman. Yeah. Speaking of which, I was say you mentioned that um, the masked woman. Yes. Yeah, but that's is that what the instance is called though? I don't know what the instance is called. Stream died when you made that joke. <laughs> you're welcome. It was so bad. You just mentioned that your wife got you um, your year of the rabbit shirt. Yeah, for early Valentine's. For early like... Valentine's Day, and I was yeah, uh, um, and uh, my wife had a uh, had a pretty rough week, so I actually made her the same the same cake that I made for the Valentine's Day. Oh, nice. I made her a uh, yeah raspberry, a chocolate chocolate with uh, raspberry frosting essentially. I made her basically the same cake that I made for that too. That sounds like repetition to me, Mikey. It is repetition, but at least you know what? <laughs> well, it's tasty. <laughs> the the issue is that every time I make it, it's somehow different anyway. <laughs> I can never, I can never make it the same way twice. So like this time I made it and it's like, it's significantly darker. Uh, it's like the, the, it's not the same. Um, <laughs> like yeah, it's, then, it's a, did you then chase her around with boxing gloves? <laughs> That's how we celebrate. Yeah, absolutely. Happy boxing day. <laughs> yeah. So I, I made her, I made her another one today. Um, Feel like feel like she needed it. Pow! Right in the kisser. Bam. We need to get that uh, Nvidia Eye thing. Have you seen that? Oh, that thing is so creepy. <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, have you seen the 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 squawk box thing? It's like oh, yeah. the the mic that straps over your mouth. No. You've not seen that? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's I haven't like seen a, that one. Uh, yeah, the, the eye thing is cursed. It's fantastic. It's fantastically cursed. So it looks like... What does it look like? It looks like... You know those, like, uh, rangefinder things? Mm-hmm. Like, like, that, like, fit your eyes? You know, like, futuristic-looking uh, fucking binoculars, basically? It looks like you took one of those and strapped it to your face. Like, to your mouth. But it's okay. A, it's it has a mic in it. It's so you can talk without everyone else. A without everyone else hearing you, and B without the mic getting the audio from everywhere else. Interesting. Okay. Wow. That is that is something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's just like this <laughs> thing strapped to your face, to your mouth. <laughs> That is the most popular guy at the party right there. It's a muzzle. It's a it's a muzzle with a with a built-in mic. I mean it definitely has I can I can see the bonuses, right? Like Yeah, yeah. Like you, you're you able can, to like you're able to talk, no one else can hear you. You can scream or at least what they hear is like Yeah, you can yeah. you can scream obscenities at your video game, you know, and your mm -hmm. your wife mm -hmm. doesn't 
hear you. And also that they they don't the mic doesn't pick up your wife yelling at you for right. playing a game mm-hmm. too much or something, right? Like I can I could I can see Ben Keith is an accident. <laughs> I I don't know. Yeah, I'm gen But this would have been better. <laughs> I'm genuinely razor, uh mask. Yeah, that was, actual that was the, feedback. That was the COVID mask, right? Yeah, from Razor. But yeah. if they put put a mic in there, at least it'd be better looking. No, they had a mic in there. The Razor mask but had no, I'm a saying mic. If, but... if they had that, oh yeah, yeah. instead of the, the, the feed bag, it, yeah, it would be it would be a lot it better. Probably looking. wouldn't muffle enough though, because the Razor one actually <laughs> did have a mic in it, but it was to project your voice out so that people didn't hear your oh, voice you from have, behind the mask. Just get rid of speakers. Yeah, but it's not gonna. It's still not gonna deaden it like the like the muzzle is you know what i mean mm-hmm. you need to you need to, i guess a lot more is, uh is there a picture sound, I even proofing in there is there a picture of what the inside of that uh thing looks like because i'm actually curious like like inside how much room is in there oh, also how here. much does that thing weigh because you're strapping it to the front of your your mouth Oh my gosh! There's a there's a back head strap. <laughs> All right, I'm not I'm not convinced that this isn't just like a a BDSM sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, to each their own. Totally. There you go. So what is the? Okay, oh yeah, yeah there's there's a bunch of soundproofing like the in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's why it works because it has it has that shit. Right. Yeah. So it has it has soundproofing. Okay. Yeah. That is bestest. Doesn't give weight. Right though. next to oh, your mouth. Yeah. That's uh, a great six idea. A- six and a half ounces. <laughs> that one doesn't seem that bad. No, yeah. That's not that's not too bad. I didn't Especially with the back heads number. So like... <laughs> yeah, but still eight hours <laughs> three. You three would think pounds. it'd be more. Oh, it is just a mic. A blue yeah, mic. Pro- I mean, well, okay, so the foam stuff's probably really light, right? The majority of the thing taking up space is like the in the insulator. That's probably mm-hmm. pretty light. I imagine that the insulation is, is probably it's very light, yeah. I imagine they're trying to keep it as light as oh possible too, gosh. right? Could you wear this thing and we take pictures of you? Do I have to? <laughs> Prevents, Prevents voice voice leakage. Voice leakage. That's Prevents that's what I normally call noise from getting in. So so again, like someone, you know. Oh my gosh. For remote no, meetings. no. <laughs> I mean, if you're not using the video portion of the call, sure. But if you have yeah. video on, Mm-mm. okay. I did see this clip. I saw this clip because you can see he's yelling, and the it shows like audio spiking, and then he puts it on, right. and then he can yell curse words and like it, you know, nothing. Minus thirty decibel sound reduction. Okay, I mean. Yeah, but it's just like the, the appearance of it is just dumb. Nasal scream only. But are you gonna wear this? <laughs> so so sexy, <laughs> just amazingly. <laughs> look like look like you're constantly biting into a cheeseburger. No, it looks more like some sort of uh, cow cosplay. I mean, even the name is Moo Talk. It looks like some sort of cow cosplay thing. If you put what that Jimmy on, what Jimmy is and... saying is that if you, if you, if everyone goes and subscribes to Jimmy's channel right now and donates <laughs> enough, <laughs> hey, if you want to buy me a Moo Talk, I will put that fucker on. I don't care. That's what you look like. What... <laughs> My, I think it's more like a cow than a than a than a horse. <clears throat> right, because it yeah, gives you like, like a little like a nose. I fucking dare you, you like, guys uh... to buy me that shit. How much is no, it? No, so like, maybe just because maybe just because of a, it's solid white and it's the way it? it projects out. But I think right, yeah, like if like you, a like a cow's. Uh, uh, if you put on a cow costume and then put that on, I just I'm telling you, they're gonna look like the 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 uh, rich kid on the cow horn. Yeah, you know what I mean. Again, you're not you're yeah, not, not telling me on the, that it that it is not BDSM, right? You, you're yeah. <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying. 
<laughs> send me send me a moo talk and a cow suit and i will make the stream happen <laughs> it'll be it will it will happen inflatable or fuzzy why not both fuzzy no i think i think fuzzy <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna go, the, if you're gonna bed, go like a onesie, if you're gonna right? go the furry ang, you know, direction, go furry. Like, why would you? You know what I mean? If you if you had the choice, something something that you could wear, yeah, wear on a lazy lazy Saturday, you know. Yeah. Totally. They were saying, did you did you see the eye thing? Did you see oh, the right Nvidia? <laughs> Just the statement of wrecked utters, just by itself. No context. Surprise, uh, I say surprise Twitch didn't uh, didn't catch that. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with that statement. Uh, Mikey, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it went through just fine. Um, no, yeah, NVIDIA came out with a with an eye thing where it's it's post processing of video that will basically use ai it, so that your eyes are always facing the camera is it just no matter what you're tracking? looking at what is it called it's eye tracking but it basically it basically projects your eyes to always look at the camera even if you're not looking at the camera is it the eye contact thing yes it is it's 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 a little weird oh my god <laughs> i see it now but what I've seen people do with this is they were putting like, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> is that they were putting like um, movies because you know in, in movies and TV, unless you're unless you're purposely breaking the fourth wall, you do not look at the camera. It's just a, it's a it's a sin, and so um, at least I saw someone had like they took like footage from Jurassic Park. And they ran it through that, and it's basically all of the actors from Jurassic Park are looking like straight at the camera. <laughs> and it's like, what is this? What is this? Yeah, it's cursed. It's cursed. It's. And then I saw someone playing around with it and trying to like um, see where the limits of it were. And they said that there was a sweet spot that if you're looking like down and to the like down into the right or left, that it would constantly be like taking your eye and having it look towards the camera. It's like. Like over and over again. <laughs> yes, Jeff Goldblum is shaming you for making dinosaurs. Most of the most of the clips they had were. Uh, There's the auto mod. Well done, Refum. <laughs> Erect Utters made it through, but that did not. <laughs> uh, yeah, most of them were were the Jeff Goldblum clips from uh, from Jurassic Park. <laughs> that and someone was I think like they were like trying to they were putting their face near their eyes. And like as they put their hand near the eye, the eye like physically like collapsed, and then was Did hidden you behind. Say the... put their face near their eyes. Well, put their hand in front of their eye. Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. I mean, your face but is near it... your eyes pretty much all the time. <laughs> put your face near their eye. <laughs> Do it. I was like, that is that does not sound right, sir. <laughs> If your face like they're, they're is not putting near their, your eyes, you have other like problems. Putting their hand near the eye and it like it like condensed their eye and then then shoved it behind their their hand. And it's like I think I actually this is, saw this that is weird. This is weird. I saw, I saw a clip where uh, where the guy like put his put his hand like this and like the eyeball just went whoop. Yeah. <laughs> right, right there. Yep. <laughs> put the eye in front of the hand it's yeah it's uh that's interesting trying to, trying to think of real applicable reasons or real applicable uses for it uh i mean i i can see okay so without like just you know making i mean obviously you can you can screw with it intentionally but as far mm -hmm. as like real application for it like just people that have problems with eye contact right or like I can see, like, yeah, just people just making, like, straight videos or something of just, yeah, talking to the camera. Yeah, it fixes um, the fact that you 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 might wander or you're looking at something you're reading, and so your, mm -hmm. your thing will come out straight. But also just, like, I can see that even for – because NVIDIA broadcasts, you, I think you can use, like, you know, during, like, say, Zoom calls or something, right? Like, mm -hmm. you, can, you can run your footage through there. Like I can totally see someone that has problems like meeting people's eyes head on, right? 
like they have problems engaging and it would just help you uh, present more normal. You know what I mean? And uh, I, can <clears throat> being, I can see that being a real thing, like like a real help to certain people. Uh, I can't move my eyes outwards and I have to move my head to look in a direction. So this cursed program would just make things look even weirder. Yeah, yeah, it might not work. Might not, might not fully work in uh well i mean in, yeah in instances maybe but. maybe not like because it's just from the clips i saw like it's not just your eyes right if it just tried to move your eye that would be real. that would be then you would end up like this like we're like your head's over here and your eyes going like that way mm-hmm. but like it seemed like from the footage i saw because that clip there he was pretty dead on i saw a clip um, I saw a clip where the guy was looking at an angle this way and the okay. eye contact one didn't just shift the eye. It kind of looked like it shifted the face a bit as well. Because if you, just, if you mm. just moved the eye, then your head's at this angle and your eye is going like this way and that's going to look fucked up. But it didn't. It made it look like his face was head on as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm trying to see if I can find the. Uh, they're making the reopen closed. Uh, yeah, I okay. had to have. I, of course, I, of course, I liked it. Yes. Here's the uh, the Jurassic Park with eye contact. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put this one in the in there for you, uh, Waffle. This I just the this one looked I don't know. Oh yeah, that that's one I saw. Yeah, because it's like not just the eye, like not just like the the some, like the whites of the eye. Like there's I don't know. I think what it does is it makes the eyes themselves bigger. Maybe. Like it sort of I've... like increases the size of the eyes. I mean, not like totally out of proportion. I like the. <laughs> Just watching the Jurassic Park one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a... Like, I don't know if it just crosses that border into uh, Uncanny Valley. You see, I, I feel like this shows a much better... Like, he does show it, like, messing up a little bit later. But this is a pretty good indication of, like... Of what it's capable of, yeah. Yeah, what it, what it really can do. Especially, the, like, just seeing the comparison is... Like you can notice, even the shape of his eyes is kind of different between the two. Mm-hmm. That's what I mean. Like I think it like it opens your eyes a, a bit more. Like it it makes them bigger. That's that's where he fucks with it right there. Yeah, but I don't know. I just I thought this clip really showed like, um, really showed more more nuance of it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But especially at the beginning of it, like I was like, all right, that actually kind of works. I mean, obviously you can obviously you can mess with it, right? Like, obviously, yeah. But I think, yeah. No, overall, I think it actually works really well. <clears throat> it, so, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Yeah, it's interesting. Now, how creepy would it be that you have the moo talk strapped on and I'm staring directly at you? I'm just staring directly <laughs> at you. Got the eye tracking. Got the moo talk. <laughs> like, why does that? Why is that crazy guy the thing strapped to his face keep eyeballing me? Now something that I have done to my camera and I'm going to take a I'm going to take a quick picture and uh, send this over to you. Um This is like I don't have I don't have issues with uh like eye contact or anything like that. But it's just sort of like an indicator that there are eyes there and they are constantly looking at you. There you go. <laughs> but I have... Uh... <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's pretty good. But I put googly eyes yeah, on my camera as just a, you know, people are looking from this direction. Like, if you're going to look. And also, it kind of gives a something for, for my eyes to actually focus on. Sure. Nice, While I that. look at the camera as well, so it's you know, 
it's, it has a reason. It just looks really silly. Well, if you put googly so, I mean, eyes I've had on people anything, stop by, just... I've had people stop by my yeah. house and be like, "You put googly eyes on your camera?" I'm like, "Listen, <laughs> listen. First just, of all, listen. Have listen, you Mr. seen my cow outfit? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let me let me show you this vocal thing I got. I forget why I forget why I heard that idea to put um, googly eyes on your camera, but I was like, actually, I'm gonna do that because. No, I mean, it sounds legit. Yeah, I see that. I see that working. Make it easier to focus when you're. Trying to talk to the camera. Talk mm-hmm. to so, right. So, something like that, where they do it using AI, it works as well. Yeah. Yeah. Where it's like, right, if you're just not sure exactly where to look or, you know. I saw something else straight, in, the, in the... Looking straight at a camera it ends up being a little weird, right? It, it gives you something to focus. Well, I saw the some in the Reddit thread below that someone was pointing out that like, generally speaking, when you're like in a conference call or something, like, mm-hmm. you can't look straight at the camera because you're looking at the other person's video feed and they're doing the same, so you're never really looking like at each other. Right. Right. So, with this, you'd look like you were looking at each other. <laughs> you know what <laughs> I mean? Like the other person would see that you're looking at them. Because it's not like the angle's off by a lot. It's just a little bit. Right. Um, then you'd, you'd both be appearing to have eye contact, which is a more normal uh, Okay. Thing. So it's like it's like if someone's um, like a, a laptop or something like that, the, the camera is at like the middle center of the top of the screen. All they'd have to do is like just like tilt their head up a little bit and just look down at the screen. So they could see the other person, and then the eyes would still always be facing towards the camera. Right, right, exactly. Okay. And you don't need, <laughs> you a, two don't need a two-way <laughs> mirror. Yeah. I just, I just imagine that uh, within the next week or so, we'll probably get a lot more of these <laughs> putting eye contact into other video memes going on. And I feel like I will appreciate them. I like that. And I feel like I will uh, <clears throat> peruse those. <laughs> I, will, yeah, I, I will look those over. Those sound like fun. I will enjoy those memes. Oh, silliness. All right. Do we have anything more? You think we're good? So are, hopefully are our next show will not be... Oh, is it what? A month from now. Said, are you hopefully our next show will not be... Will not be a month from now. Will not be over a month from now. Hey, don't be over promising. <laughs> <laughs> It'll actually be two months. That's we'll do, how we roll. We'll do. We'll do my birthday next. It's totally fine. <laughs> End of March. Our next show is during the uh, anniversary event. Uh, well, I mean, I would imagine we'd at least have a show uh, during Valentine's. The Valentine's event. If nothing. If, yes. If if. Uh, even even events notwithstanding, we probably try and make a, a February Valentine event show happen somehow. I, I would imagine the Valentine's Day event goes on. It's not is it, it doesn't go on that long. It's what about a week or two. I don't know. Some people farmed like fucking millions of cakes. No, it goes on until um well goes on two weeks. Two weeks. They're really only two weeks? God damn, how much is it? In twenty twenty one in twenty twenty one it started on February tenth and it went to the twenty fourth. I think Ruffles still has like a thousand cakes or something. I see, but then oh, extended to the twenty eighth. So two and a half weeks? <clears throat> ten ten thousand minutes? Oh man, people! Some people were farming cakes like like the event was never gonna fucking happen again. They really were. You know what? Uh, I still I, you know what? I still have the same hundred cakes in my bank and haven't touched them. <laughs> <laughs> I have one stack <clears throat> of one hundred, one stack of one hundred in my in my personal bank, right? Mm-hmm. None on me at all. Just the one stack of one hundred. And I have not touched it. Everyone always pops cakes at the raid. And it's like a fucking cue. Sometimes people double pop because <clears throat> they have literally thousands of them. 
let's say it started in 2020. Believe it or not. Uh, technically, technically pre COVID. February, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> right before it all went to shit. Right before, we yeah. Had a nice Valentine's <laughs> literally, event. Literally, right before everything went to shit, yeah. Um, and I have Secret World Legends Valentine's Week starts through the 19th and was extended to the 25th. So it went from the 12th to the 25th. Two weeks, basically. Dos weeks. And then 2021, it went from the 10th to the 28th because it was extended. So to like two, two and a half weeks there. So yeah, two and a half weeks. Plenty of time. Plenty. We should, like... we'll, we'll probably get a show in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would hope so. I uh, I do like doing the mass woman fight. That's pretty fun. And it's a good fight. It's a good fight. And... It's an interesting investigation. It's not too out there. Uh, Rose and Brawl is always fun. It's a, you know it's a good event. And I can go run around in there in photo mode. Yeah. Oh yeah. That is a time limited instance. Mm-hmm. Go figure out what else is in there. How the entire Rosenbrawl instance is just in the same instance as the final fight. I don't know, something. I'm just... <laughs> no, I've flown around in Rosenbrawl already. I've done that. that figure that, out that how, is... the, um, how the how the Orochi Tower penthouse is actually in the same instance as the subway system. I don't know. <laughs> It's kind of crazy how much they did on the Kaiden, uh, Kaiden Center. <clears throat> like, the fragment is just, just two rocks, a portal, and a well. Yeah, that we can see. I'm going to fly out of the skybox and look around. That's right. Who knows what else is in there? Because I've, I've done a Krampus rocket in there before, but that's not the same thing as photo mode. It could be like, is it an individual instance? Is it? Is it? I mean... To be fair, it probably is, but you know, yeah. <laughs> might as well take this opportunity to check it out while it's while it's uh, available. There might be a third, right, there rock. Be a third rock. Third yeah. <laughs> Well, that's like what well, I was. Uh, so, like you in face the um, other direction, you never know. I think I figured out that uh, it could be Blue all Ridge, inside a Gaia engine. Well, you know, the Blue Ridge Mine has like two copies of the of the. Floor plan. <clears throat> okay, right. Right, like when you like there's there's two different elevator shafts. Mm hmm Like when you when you when you enter normally versus uh when you go fight Beaumont, like it's actually a separate version is in there. A tiny rock off in the corner by your character preview, clearly. Could be. Could be. Or maybe it's a medium-sized rock. You don't know. Oh, we could find we could find um, uh, asset palette. Those are fun to find. Mm -hmm. We'll just put like one of each thing <laughs> down. <clears throat> you could find wherever you write a, a a voiceless narrator could be. Right, right. It's like why didn't I try Running Man in pants? It's very nice, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> agents. This has been the Zero Point Report, Strain 74-YOR. You can catch us recording live every other Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. I say that with a, with a straight face. Uh, every other Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time here in the Zero Point Report Twitch channel, where you can also join us and chat with us while we do the show live or download our show wherever podcasts are found so you can listen to us on the go. Jimmy, where can we find you online? Uh, you can find me at uh, Linktree slash Jimmy the Rabbit. That's, I put everything the, there. All the things. That, that was a new thing. That was a new <laughs> thing. Um, well, Two-Tone Waffle. We're, uh, um, yes, Jimmy can be found everywhere. One Jimmy the Rabbit, Two-Tone Waffle, and that made me wonder why I wasn't like three-something Ocho. It's one Jimmy the be, Rabbit, two ton waffle. You'd be, you'd be three I eights. I for a second. I'm like, what? 
Mikey um, Ocho. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, the E is a three instead. Uh, right. Yeah, two ton waffle. Where can we find you? Online. Same everywhere. everywhere. I'm right there with you. <laughs> Wherever you go, I'm right next to you. Yeah, he's that extra set of footprints dragging behind you in the sand because <laughs> he's not walking. He's just hanging onto your back. Right. But is he carrying me during the hard times? Is is the single? No, no, no you're carrying yeah, me. <laughs> that was the point. <laughs> oh, big Mikey Trace didn't last long. Uh... <laughs> no, I took him out quickly. <laughs> that imposter. <laughs> and I'm no, Ocho. Find me everywhere, uh, find me... Uh, especially here on Twitch or uh, YouTube. Okay, okay. Or on Mastodon, if you see me there. The single line of footprints is when he went to get a burrito. That's fair. I'll be back. Uh, I'm Ocho. You can find me both on Twitter and here on Twitch at Big Mikey Ocho. Uh, you can get in touch with us by engaging with the show on Twitter at Zero Point Report, checking out previous shows on our YouTube channel, and joining us on our Discord server, both named The Zero Point Report. So from all of us here at The Zero Point Report, we want to thank you for tuning in, chatting with us, talking with us while we do the show, joking with us, watching us be pants, um, and wish you all the best from the secret world. Have a great night, everybody. Happy Year of the Rabbit, and we will see you Yay. next time. Bye, everybody. Later. That is wherever podcasts...